Hey guys, it's that time again. It's time for a stupid special and completely stupid where you get a hundred clips of Karen's crazy public freakouts and shenanigans and stupid things from the backlog. Everything, like a hundred awesome clips from the past few years. You're in for something special here. Fun ride of way too long of a video. I hope you enjoy this. Get some food, get some popcorn, maybe fall asleep. You choose what you want to do with all this time. Have fun. Welcome to the plane where we have a crazy Kevin on board who is either high as hell or just has a very inflated ego and believes everything revolves around him. Most likely the first one in this situation. And here's my family and this is why I'm the magic man. And I'm being signaled by my wife and she is not the person I married. I'm the magic man. Let me do what I want to do. I'm gonna... My panic attack's getting easier. It's getting easier. This is the fastest way to do it. Hey, do all the steps. Someone take care of me. The whole plane needs to take care of me. But everyone! Yeah, either that guy's clinically insane or he's just high as hell right now and somehow got on this flight. <laughs> what? In this next clip, we got a Kevin who gets this, is complaining about their fast food order being delivered to them too fast. Yeah, I'm not joking. Just, just watch. Hey, I'm going to get the water too. Hey, can I ask you something, by the way? No, it, it's just that every time I come here, like, at the late night hour, I don't know why you're, like, very, like, it's not even me because I know it's not just me. Like, I'm sure you're, like, this way with everyone. You just, like, are very impatient. Like, if, if like, you don't want this job, you don't have to be here. Like, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know. Like, you are, like, you literally rush my order every single time, and I hate having you. And, I, I mean, I'm sure my word means nothing to you, but I'm just telling you. You have the choice to have a different profession. This isn't a profession. I'm sure you're just very incompetent and you have to work here, but I'm, I'm not being ignorant either. It's just like, I come here to get food. Who, who cares like if I've been drinking or doing whatever, like I come here at a late night hour, I get food. Every time I have you, I hate it. It makes me sick. I'm so sorry about that. No, no, I'm, I'm sure you're very sorry about it. So. I'm sure you're very sorry about it, but you are very Every I'm time sorry. I come here, I'm so sorry. No, I'm I'm sure you're not actually sorry, and you're just saying that because like what whatever's happening, or you're being recorded. So, yeah. Man, I wish it was that easy just to get a different job. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things. I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure if like you get additional pay for working graveyard hours in America, but that's how it is in Australia. But it's like, yeah, a lot of people don't like working the graveyard shift, but it's one of those things where it pays the bills pretty damn well. And it's just one of those things where you've just got to do it. And I'm sure this kid's probably just gone through a lot. And he's just like burning through those orders really quickly, especially when it's not that busy. You may as well just do it as fast as you can and give the customer quick customer service. Give them what they want quickly and they'll be happy. Except for this guy who is recording this incident thinking that he's wholeheartedly in the right for complaining about your orders coming out too fast what a weird thing to complain about in the first place why do you hate your order coming out fast like what the fuck if he's stumbling and st messing up the drop like putting the wrong things in a burger okay understandable have a nice day but it's not the case here you just don't like him put giving you your order quickly like he's impatient I, I don't know about you but who the fuck cares is it just me? Uh huh. It's next we've got a Karen who decides to interrupt the jeweler about 10 minutes before they close and decides to just cause a ruckus around it. What's your name? When You've you already been asked to leave. to leave. When did you ask? First when I, when I said I was calling right. security. You can't ask us to, re to leave. And as a matter of fact, you want to record, I'm going to record you as well too. Yeah, there's, a, there's actually a code of conduct when you walk in. You it guys agree matter. to it. You're, you're not filing your code of conduct. And I'm going to let the manager know 10 name? minutes early as you have We're not closed. That were planning on coming and spending money with you. You actually, with, with your rudeness, you made it so that nobody wants to buy from you. I didn't say we were closed, ma'am. I just it said you matter. can't shop here. You don't here. need to tell me not to lean on here. You don't have a sign that yeah, says I can. anything like that. Well, guess I can. what? What are you Because this is it? our business. It's it not your matter. business, ma'am. It's not your business. You're just a little peon that works here. And as soon as your manager Boy, finds you're out gonna... what head you are, I don't know if you'll have a job anymore. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you think that. Where's the security? They're on their way. Oh, really? In the meantime, you guys I'm sure can... you probably call them all the time, so they probably won't even come because you're just... Oh, oh no, it's the first time oh, they've been over here time. since Christmas. I was looking, looking, looking at the Evos. Can you not lean on that? I just got through cleaning it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, so she called me a peon. Mm -hmm. Just 
this right security. now. Yeah. Now he's playing security because we are. Because you're being belligerent. You guys are violating the How mall's I code of conduct. Because I'm actually standing up to you. Because yeah. you have obviously had. Yeah. A, I asked you. I asked you not to dirty activity. up something that I'm cleaning. It doesn't matter. That's it does job. matter. It does matter. You job. see, I I actually have a right to Guess say, please what? don't do that. You're going to clean it again because I'm leaning all over again. Okay. And well, as a matter of fact, you didn't say please. You, you guys will come over here and clean this one as well. Too, okay. Along with this one. Yeah, we'll just we'll post that up. You guys can be famous. Go for it. Okay. Because you obviously have nothing better to do than to harass customers. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just standing here, ma'am. You're the one who's dirtying up my store on purpose. Okay, go ahead and give me your manager's information so I can call them first. Oh, the trust morning. me, he'll be calling you for the cleaning bill after this because you guys were deliberately <laughs> vandalizing our property at this point. Vandalizing? You, you, what, what's wrong with you? You? Are, do you your feel behavior? Sorry? It's do you, upsetting. Do you need to go to school? Do you need to educate yourself, do something with your life? I I'm mean, sorry that you have a job that's so you you're, uh, your you're the one throwing a tantrum in the mall, ma'am. I mean, it seems no, like not, if anybody just, needs to learn like etiquette, it's you. Millennials who have this entitlement attitude, okay. who act like people owe you something. These two, uh, this gentleman right here, and this woman—they're vandalizing my store. Okay. I've got it all. I've got it all recorded. You know, from what I can tell from just watching this recording, this guy just kept his calm the entire time, just spoke normally, did normal things, and then the other person, the woman, was just sitting there antagonizing him over and over again, saying, oh yeah, you just finished cleaning this, I'm going to make it all dirty on you, I'm going to make it a bit of a nuisance, I'm going to be a bit of an asshole towards you, because you work here, and I don't, this is your job, you're going to have to deal with whatever the fuck I do now. It, it, it's just like one of those things where it's such an asshole move to do. Like, no matter how someone else treats you, especially in some, a place like this, just doing shit like this is not the right thing to do. You should be the bigger person, not be a fucking asshole about things. But I suppose when it comes to these people, they weren't trying to be nice to begin with. They're just going to be fucking dickheads. Next up, we got a crazy neighbor who does not like the neighbor's dog. You know what? You go and get yourself help. Yeah, I will. You need it. I'll Come get on. help. I'm getting rid of my stupid crazy neighbor oh, get your dog away from me. uh this is my yard you stupid no your dog has got to be on a leash really he's standing in my yard but he's supposed to be on a leash come on aiden let's go yeah aiden take your barking in the house i'm 41 patty i'm 41 Shut the f up. Your dog is not even on a leash. You're right, because he ain't doing in my yard. Oh, you know what? He has to be on a leash, according to my vet. Come on, Aiden. <laughs> Look how here. my dog is being, you stupid. You know what? Your dog is barking, acting a fool. My dog is wagging his tail. This is our f yard. I don't care what you say. He needs to be in a fenced yard, or he needs to be. Why? Be your dog's in a. You're the one that needs a fence yard. Your dog be attacking people. Oh, he has not. Bubba f loves everybody except f like you. And your dog shouldn't have an owner like you. Well, guess what? He has somebody that protects him. Oh, oh good. So you f with my dog, you f with me. Babe, babe. What? Stop. No, f this stupid. Babe. Man, your dog should be on a lease. My vet says so. Oh, really? Why? Because, uh,. Your dog has no idea how to have any form of self-control and you never trained your dog to actually be, I don't know, not a goddamn idiot. Uh, I don't think uh, other people need to keep their dogs on leashes when they're in their own yard. I think it's you who needs to do that at anything. And even if you think that someone else should have their dog on a leash, then shouldn't that also mean yours should be on a leash too? I don't know. I don't think you're quite following your logic loop quite correctly here. Also, I, I hope the guy was a bit like, sorry, partner, like a little bit afterwards because he was a bit, no, <laughs> that probably happens a lot. But Jesus Christ, what a neighbor. <laughs> In the next clip, we got a Karen who wants to get a nice $2 iced coffee from McDonald's, but it turns out they don't have any of this iced coffee for her. So you know what she wants instead? She wants to get her meal for free to compensate for the fuel that she spent to get there. I want the $2 any size iced coffee, but okay. if it don't have... 
I'm telling you, we have no iced coffee right now. We only have hot coffee. Well, you can make up for it by making that hot coffee two dollars. A large hot coffee. Do you want a large hot coffee? Any cream and sugar? So you want a large iced caramel latte or an iced caramel mocha? Iced caramel mocha latte. Atto. I'm sorry. A what? Iced caramel mocha atto. Macchiato? Oh, macchiato. You are so right. Yes. Can you make it $2? It's going to be three fifty eight. But I wanted the two dollar iced coffee. You said you do yeah. not have iced coffee. Do you, you want a macchiato? We have no iced coffee. The macchiato is three fifty eight. Well, yeah. Since you do not have that iced coffee for two dollars, then can you give me that instead for the two dollars? I can't do that, ma'am. Okay, let me speak to your manager, please. Yeah, you could do that at the first window. Can you give us? Can you um? Show me your manager on the window, please. On the I just, yeah, I just said you can go to the first window. Not the window. I don't want to wait in line if you're not going so to sweetheart, convenience sweetheart, me. Sweetheart, can I help you? Hi, are you the manager? This is the manager. How may I help you? Yes. Okay. Um, your associate said that you do not have a two dollar any size iced coffee. So instead, I said, could I get the iced caramel macchiato for two dollars since you do not have an iced coffee and since that is considered iced coffee. Yeah, sweetheart, I can't. We can't do this. Okay, well, skip the coffee. I would we just don't have iced coffee at the moment, so that's why we don't have. We can only do the hot coffee because we don't have much. Well, since you cannot compensate me for my time and money that's spent on the gas here to get this product, could you please just give me a sandwich? I cannot do that, sweetheart. Oh, I'm paying for it, so yes, you can. <laughs> Since I cannot have the iced coffee that I wanted, is there any way you can compensate me with a free coffee? You, you had the sausage McMuffin and the sausage biscuit? Yes. Okay. Um, four, four. Oh, I thought it was going to be free since you did not have the iced coffee. No, but is you recording or something? Could you get your manager, please? Why are you recording? Could you get your manager, please? And if only that's how the world actually worked, that would be awesome. If the people fail to, if they don't have the thing that they were offering and you spent fuel to get there, imagine if they could compensate for you. Oh wait, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> That is dumb. That's an idea that would never work in any society. Companies would flop so quickly. Like, oh my god. Like, what type of self-entitlement was that nonsense? Good god. Oh, because you, I wasted so much time trying to get this $2 free iced coffee. I want you to pay for my fuel and for my time spent here. It's not like I was really doing anything. And in reality, I don't need this coffee, but I wanted it. And now that I can't get it, I need to be paid for the fact that I can't get it. What dumb logic's that? What? In this next clip, we got a Karen who parked in a handicapped spot that doesn't have any form of sticker denoting that they can do that. And when confronted with this information, she attempts to throw drinks at the guy recording her and then attempt to hit him with his with her car. So why do you park in handicapped spots? Are you handicapped? No. Well, what makes you so special that you can park in a handicapped spot? Record me, I'll break your okay. You're on. Why? What makes you so special? What makes you special? What makes you so special? That you can park car. in a handicap. What makes back you so special? What makes you so special? What makes you so special that you can park in a handicap spot? I'm taking this to the police. Good for you. you assaulted me. Good for you. You assaulted me.
I just think of her throwing those drinks as her saying, I don't want to accept responsibility. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not an adult. I don't need to deal with this shit. Leave me alone. It's like, it's one of those just most childish shits to do. It's just like, oh, yep, this car park right here. Oh, it's a handicap. So, psh, not my problem. I'm taking it. It's mine. The, the self-entitlement with that is just so crazy. And then when someone catches you doing so and confronts you with it, instead of just like accepting, yeah, whatever, moving on, bye-bye, you just throw drinks at them consistently and then when you're on your way out you attempt to go ramming into them slightly as you go to leave which is just the craziest shit to ever do if your case wasn't already gonna look back like if it was just a handicapped parking spot police probably wouldn't have cared for quite a while and would have slowly done it but then you tried to assault the guy and then you tried to hit him now it's gonna make sure this goes through police reporting a little bit quicker good job Either way, that situation could have been handled so much better by Andrew, by the other Home Depot worker that's there, it involves various other people, because, you know, customers aren't saints. In this next clip, we've got a guy who's not happy with pest control coming through. Give me your business card. I don't have one. What are you doing here without a business card? I'm just taking care of people's bugs, sir. What do you mean, bugs? Spiders, ants, what roaches. What company are you with? Hawks. Hawks? Yeah. Why don't you have a business card? Because I'm just a route manager out here. Get the f out of this neighborhood, Why? dude. You don't have, we don't, you, you're not allowed to just walk around people's private property. You're not allowed to. Okay. You don't have an appointment. I don't know why you're so angry, sir. I wish I could help you out. I'm trying to get this guy out of the neighborhood. He's driving everybody crazy. You're the only person, all of your neighbors were really nice. You're the only one that's acted like this. Back up. You interrupted my business. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You didn't even answer the door. You're You've been cussing at me, using God's name in vain. I don't know who's no, the jerk here. It's not against the law to cuss. You're right. It's not against the, the law to knock on the door. Yeah, it is. There's no soliciting signs all over. Look. You, you don't even have a business card. You probably need to go to church, sir. You know what? Can you just take it on out of You're my I'm sorry. I was just coming to talk to you about You're the bugs. I don't understand why he's... Man, this guy just likes his bugs. It's just like this guy's coming in to do some pest control work. You know, the fun stuff. Burning those bugs alive. And this guy's just coming through having a bad day. Losing his shit at this guy. Because he doesn't have a business card. A uh, 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 business... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about as ridiculous as it sounds. I, yeah, I, I got nothing here. We're on an airplane. This guy's forced to sit next to an, a person of color. Decides to text their family about how much they dislike this, and the person next to them decides to see it on their phone and then confronts them about it. Here's a clip. I want you to feel as uncomfortable as I do and I want you to know that I saw your text messages and I think you're disgusting What text message? You know exactly what I'm oh. talking about. I'm not I'm not gonna repeat it because everybody doesn't need to know But I want you to know that I know I saw you and I think that you're disgusting You don't have anything to say to that, right? No. Yeah, I, I didn't think so And, and speaking of yeah, yeah. You, you should and speaking of airlines weeding people out, maybe if they raise prices, you you know, maybe you wouldn't be able to afford to sit with your family. That way they don't have to sit next to black people. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, yeah, you're not, you don't have to be sorry to me. You're sorry because I saw it. But I want you to feel as uncomfortable as I do sitting next to you. Okay, I am. Uh-huh. You should be. Okay, I get it. That was... Probably very flipping racist from that guy, but at the same time, it, why are you watching what he's typing on his phone in the first place? I just gotta ask you a question there. How did we get to that point in the first place? Like, is, do you have a legitimate reason for doing that, or are you just a very, very nosy person who has to know what everyone else is doing around you? You have to know what they're doing on their phone, you have to know what they're texting, all these other crap. Like, I get it. Probably very flipping racist from this guy, but at the same time, you're a bit of an asshole for just snooping over their soldiers and reading their text messages from a person that you don't fucking know. Like, that's still a shitty move to do in the first place. <laughs> In this clip, we got a guy who's in confronting a McDonald's worker because there's a fly in his drink and decides to go on like, no, flies don't fly from long distances. If it, there's flies in this McDonald's, it's because there's something wrong with the McDonald's. And we have a very interesting conversation here. Yours, yeah. down the road from here is a strawberry patch. We have no control over that. 
we have stuff hanging in the store as far as like whatever fly traps McDonald's have out. But if once y'all keep coming through the doors, like the entry doors, they bring supplies. But they fly. So not, flies so come from maggots. Flies don't fly that far. Flies come from rotten right, stuff. Right, but it's a strawberry field down the road. Here, That's so down the road. This right, ain't. But it's still a. They'll fly this way. And it's been like this for uh, years. How come they're not at Wendy's across the street? I don't know. How come they're not at the gas station across the street? How come they're not at that gas station? I don't but work over here. I'm just saying, you work here and you can't. Right, I mean, but we've been having that problem for years. I, so I, I, just, came, I just came. I just came last so week we and there weren't flies in here. I'm not gonna argue this. I had a fly come out of my cup. Come out of my cup. Like, that's not excusable in any way, shape, or form for a fly to come out of something that's been prepared by you guys. Period. So there's a few things here. First off, as a McDonald's worker, why wouldn't you just replace a drink? We all know that the soft drink costs literally cents to, like, is literally something that only costs a handful of cents, and yet we charge multiple dollars for that type of thing. And secondly, to the customer, yes, flies can fly long distance. On average, an adult fly can fly anywhere from one to two miles generally, but it's been known that flies can travel up to 20 miles from their initial location. So yeah, a strawberry field just down the road, yeah, that could definitely cause a fly problem in local areas not too far away from that goddamn strawberry very few. And yeah, just because you haven't seen flies in the gas stations in the air or the Wendy's in the air, it doesn't mean that flies aren't there. It's like the old saying go, if a tree falls down in a forest and no one's there, does it make a noise? It still makes a noise, just no one hears it because no one's there. Just because you don't see the flies doesn't mean they don't exist. Like, <laughs> it's just such a weird argument here. Like, uh, God damn. Apparently this restaurant refused to take the order of this group here, but then turns out they took the order of someone else right underneath their nose right after they refused the first person's order. I'm not 100% sure what's actually happening in this clip. I'm just, here's the clip. She is taking this gentleman's order right now. You, you make sure you record all of that. Mm -hmm. He stated right here to the left that it's a carry out only because they don't have any staff and she's taking this person for Thank you. I don't care. You're taking one person's order. You can't refuse someone else. My husband is an attorney. I'll be contacting you. Okay, Thank you. 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 And you refuse the service. I don't look like I'm taking anybody's order. I look like I'm having a conversation with you. Have a nice night. Ma'am, it was recorded that you just was asking him. No, it's on it, camera. No, it, no, no, you had asked him and it was recorded. And it was time. recording. But it's good, okay, though. It's fine. Again, I'll say I had a conversation. Have a good night, ma'am. I'm it's, not going to argue with you. It's not you nice to lie. If you would like, have a good night. It's, it's not good it's, to lie. It's not nice to lie. Or, why not ask the way it is? That's and not how you talk to a customer. You made a decision. You sat here. It's not and a security issue. You're taking issue. someone order and she had it recorded and you're gonna deliberately lie when recording don't lie. At the end of the day, recording don't lie. But at the end of the day, you was deal with it. It's me talking to him. Have a good night. You're asking gentlemen about from taking the order. Have a good night. I have a funny feeling there might be something else happening for this clip to have occurred in the first place that we're not quite being given the information for, or this restaurant's just racist, but I highly doubt that that's the fact here. Granted, it's entirely possible, but I don't know, this one I'm, I've got nothing on, sorry. Give What are your thoughts, anyway? In this clip, we got a group of people just moose watching on the side of a road or highway or whatever they want to call it. And then this Karen comes up out of nowhere and decides that she's going to lay down the law. Ultimately, this backfires pretty quickly. Hey, lady, you're one lady. Fuck off. That's fine. No one's charging the moose. No one's charging the Am I the asshole? No, we, we all have two. We hear you. Hey, hey, hey. The you're scaring him more than we are. From the people. Yeah, probably. You're, you're out of breath. Right Maybe you should take your anger over there. I'm not angry. I'm yes, you are. Me. Look at you. You're no one's charging in there. You know, y'all need to get away and just leave them alone because they come up all the highway. We're leaving time. him alone. Yeah. That's yeah, great. Just get back. Get How, away from them. You get back, lady. What the hell? 
you know, go back home. Okay, we have to we'll go back home. What the hey. hell are you getting on my face for? I got my kids here. Because go away. Moose come up here all the time. That's They're great. Very and when dangerous. they come up here, I'll get in my car. Look at how chilly you are. Why don't you take it? Hey, you can walk away right now. Ignorant you can ass. walk away. I, you you're the one. You're being hypocritical. Now. Fuck off, lady. I, I'm not redneck. Look at his I really don't get it. It's just like, you know, the, the moose comes up to the highway all the time. When he comes up to the highway, that's very, very dangerous. It's like, yeah, if we see the moose coming this direction, we'll hop back in our cars and get moving. It's almost like we see the moose about a couple hundred meters away from us, and we're just observing it from a distance. We're not right goddamn next to it. We've got more than enough time to go back to our cars and go if it starts heading towards this direction. Good God. <laughs> what does this Karen think she is? The fucking police officers? <laughs> In this clip, we have a Karen who was quite upset on how someone decided to confront her about her how horrible of a person she was inside of Walmart, so she decided to follow this person out and then harass them when they were getting ready to leave on their bike. Because you nothing, made me nothing you're doing uncomfortable here. Uncomfortable in front of my granddaughter, and I don't find that to be appropriate. Nothing you're doing here is making me uncomfortable at all. I don't care. Well, good, because you know what? I have a few minutes to stand here, okay. and your behavior is inappropriate. Okay, I'll hang out here for you. I mean, what are you going to do, post me on bad drivers because your behavior is inappropriate? My behavior, eh? What? <laughs> I mean, seriously? I, I, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here. You ain't oh, going to get anywhere. Oh, I just want to show everybody the real, real person that you are. Oh, okay. And how you're rude to me. Rude? You have no sense of rude. personal space. Rude? You accosted me to begin with. What? Okay, when I didn't even know who you are. Do you remember when... Do you remember you calling the kids there? trophies in Walmart? Don't talk to me about being rude. But you got in the middle of a conversation that wasn't your conversation. You're screaming at employees in Walmart. Get out of here. I'm not yelling at you. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, Lord have mercy. Huh? Why? Oh, God. You want to tell is... me why it is that you're yelling at me <laughs> when I am not being rude to you? <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Oh, this is hilarious to me. I am having a blast. I'm I sure think you that are. You being rude to me was appropriate. And I think that you should apologize too. Oh, yeah. No. See you inside. Yeah, you yeah I'll see you here in a minute. You should apologize. No. Oh, by all means, I'm not stopping you from shopping. I'm just letting the world know that you're rude to people. I'm rude to people? Yes, you're rude to me. Do you have any idea how many people witness you be absolutely nasty to everybody? You are nasty to everybody you come across. I'm certain I can atone to several people that don't find me as being nasty, but okay. I mean, if that's there's the way you There's literally, feel, then, sure. there's literally a hey, small there's army of people me. online. Well, in Walmart, there's a lady in there at the front. She doesn't see me as being nasty. Oh, man. The boy in there doesn't see me as being nasty. Yeah. I mean, no, I have a right to an opinion. You that you do. You don't have to say anything about it. You have no right to accost me when my granddaughter is around. What? <laughs> you, yes, you're very right. You do have an opinion, and as do I. But, you know, it just is what it is. So you're admitting you accosted me in front of my granddaughter? No. Nope. When I didn't know who you were? Nope. Are you at least going to admit that you lied about me online? Nope. <laughs> Are you no. going to at least admit that you have an issue with my weight? The actual level of self-entitlement to believe that the, the main reason why they confronted you is because they have problems with you, not because you were doing anything wrong in any level or any degree whatsoever. Not even considering the fact that you decide to go on the whole level. It's like, can you at least admit that you have a problem with me because of my weight? It's like that was never mentioned once throughout this entire recording here. And you just have to mention it at the back end of it all just to try and pull something out there. Like, what? was the point? Are you absolutely just that self-deluded that you don't see yourself ever being in the wrong, especially in this situation here? This guy's just sitting peacefully on his bike. You've come over and started just harassing him for ultimately no good reason. What's even the point here? Whatever tactics you're trying to pull are clearly not working because of how many times she decides to redirect how she's approaching the situation when it's not working. Next, we go down to Aussie land with a mad lad and his goddamn wife going off at a bunch of kids at the waterway. <laughs> no, it works, and we're, you're in for it, mate. You're in for it. So what, what did 
I do? Oh, bull****. You jumped on your ski when you seen us, come and gave us a walk, and then took off like the that you are. He's on your ski cruise. Yeah, I'll do what Take I want. Take a photo of him. He's not allowed on your property. Then why are you? Why did you come in here? Like I'm not trying to annoy you or anything. Why what? Excuse me. Why did I come in here? Yeah. Is it your place or your like, just like Sorry. You Is it your place? It's, you it's a waterway, you. It's the waterways, you little. Oh fuck you! Yeah. Come on, let's have a go. Who wants to go first? Hold them. Come on, you want to walk crack together? Are absolutely you want to crack? a joke. Oh. An absolute joke. Get all the red joes because you're in for it now. You're bloody in for it. You don't know who we know. So guess what? The cops are going to be coming around. The water police are looking for you guys 24 7. Are you stuck to I'm sorry, I can't help myself when it comes to the Australian clips. I've just got to really embrace the inner Australian, but Jesus Christ, you don't know who I know. I don't know how many times I've heard this over my life. It's just like, you dare mess with me. I will get your, the entire world to murder you. I'm going to fight you now. It's just such... Uh, classic bogan Australians. <laughs> In this clip, we got another Karen belittling retail workers because apparently they've got nothing better to do. But this time around, someone attempts to help the retail worker. When they do that, this Karen calls in her husband apparently to uh, a try to deal with this. <laughs> I'm gonna call the cops first of all because this is the worst She'll service I've ever had. And I've been with Verizon for five years, so I've never had customer service like this. You can if you want to. I'm sorry, what? Was I talking to you? Have you been standing here? Yeah. Do you have any clue what's going on? Shut the f up. Hey, can you leave? How about no? I don't care who you call. Because literally, all I sat there and said was that I'm going to call her to call because this is terrible. When literally I said I could go to another carrier because I've done this before. All they did was hand me SIM cards. You say, and you could. Like, that's bad customer service. That's not. options and you're not listening to me. Sir, whatever. Eh, you don't work here and I'm not talking to you. Eh, eh. I'm trying to give you an eh. you know, you option. Shut the fuck up. Well, we can do it. Go ahead. You speak when spoken to. Go ahead. Like I said, anyways, can you please come in here and address this idiot that is talking to me? So, you Thank you. Me? I absolutely cannot because I was speaking to you and you need to step out of my way because literally standing in front of me and trying to be rude Bezo. is not necessary. Back up. Hey, we, How you want to wrap it up? Huh? She talking about white people down. He wasn't shit talking. Huh? Uh, she told me positive. Absolutely. Huh? She told me positive. Huh? Telling me uh, act, hey, as if I'm not standing here. Huh? Let's go. But I'm going to address Ashley. Is that her name? Yes, ma'am. Because all I did was come in here and ask you for SIM cards, and your attitude was completely shitty. And then you sitting here trying to tell me about my attitude. We're not able to. I did, after you told me about my attitude. You're not my father nor my husband. I don't need your opinion. And then to come step right in front of me as if I'm not speaking and I was addressing him. Uh-uh. Get some business about yourself. No, talk this Piss on yourself. No, talk this You were the one being incredibly disrespectful that entire time to both of them. I'm incredibly. He did nothing to you. Don't care. And I he was did talking to him that one, like, He's trying to help you and you won't listen. He wasn't helping me. He wasn't listening to me because from was. the time he I walked in here, he tried to tell me that I ordered a phone I didn't order. You were the one not so like listening to his <laughs> Who are you? I'm sorry, but that's just goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> you just can't handle dealing with this type of stuff on your own. So someone comes in to help the retail worker just to, because you're just being a bit of an asshole. So you decide to call up your boyfriend to come on in to be this tall asshole to start and go start going off at the retail worker for no particular reason. And I can guarantee that you probably didn't tell the full story to your partner there and you just made up enough of a lie to make it so that he'd be upset for you and go off at these people which is the dumbest shit and i just love the additional thing that she's just like oh what you're talking to me nah -uh. you, you talk when you be spoken to nah -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oh, just like no actual like, what type of person are you you just lack any respect for anyone here we have a kevin complaining about their drink doesn't have peanut butter in it even though they ordered a reese's thick shake of sorts and it does have the Reese pieces in there but you know they're not happy anyway they drink half the drink and now they're asking for a refund and I realized it wasn't no peanut butter in it yeah. wait but I realized it wasn't no peanut butter in it what 
that I can't get my money back. You ate more than half of it. Right, but it's a big cup. I ordered large. Last time I got it, it was a medium, and it had peanut butter in it. But what does that, that has nothing to do with us. Regardless, you ate majority But it's a Reese's peanut butter. And there are Reese's peanut butter pieces inside. It just tastes like ice cream and Reese's cup. That's all it tastes like. That's all it is. It's a McFlurry with Reese's cup. Oreo McFlurries don't have chocolate in them. It's never any sauce in it to begin with. So I paid almost $6 for a large... That you ate majority of, so you paid $3 for it because it's more than half. Right, because me and my, my wife was eating on something too. She said, well, this, this don't taste like the one yesterday. I mean, y'all ate it. It's nothing we can't, like, I don't understand what you want us to do to give you your money back. You ate more than half of it. It's not like it's all the way up here to the top. I'm looking inside of the cup to see that it's half, it's half more. Right. Right. But uh, you think you want your money back for Like, you like the Sunday I just bought. Maybe you think it's, it's the peanut butter down at the bottom. If you keep eating it, maybe the peanut butter down at the bottom. Maybe I keep eating before I start complaining. Well, let me eat now. Let me eat now. Then you realize, like, wait a minute. Any peanut butter inside of them. All right. And I and I ate so you and I can't What's your get. Phone up for? What is that? I'm recording you because I'm recording because. I would like my money back. And you're telling me I can't get it back. Can you put the camera down, please? Like, can you put the camera down regardless if you have the camera up or not? I'm not giving you your money back because you're paying more than half of it. I know, but I'm at the Dunkin' Donuts on Wildsworth Avenue. Okay, I know where you're at. I don't need you to tell the camera that. Can you put your camera down? Either way, you're not getting your money back. You ate more than half of it. Okay. All right. Anything you else? Anything else you want me to tell the camera? May I have that back since I paid for it? Does this guy just not realize what Reese pieces are? Reese pieces are like the chocolate and the peanut butter. Unfortunately, you might get some pieces that have got more chocolate than peanut butter and vice versa, as well as depending on who makes the drink, it might have more, might have slightly less. It might not have the exact same thing as before. It's going to be slightly different to the drink you had the other day. It's not going to be goddamn identical. And then thinking you can attempt to get a bloody refund when you've already drunk more than half of it is just stupid. Plain old stupid. And this guy realizes it at the end of the clip when he's like going on it's like when he's asked why are you recording us? What's the point of that? You know, it doesn't change anything. He's just like because ah, uh, And just couldn't think of a reason because he's realized. Oh, I'm an idiot I'm still gonna try for the refund, but I'm an idiot <laughs> I love at the end when he asks for his drink back when they've already walked away. They just ignore him It's absolutely brilliant here we have a customer who was a little upset that a certain item they were trying to order wasn't available at this point in time, so they crack a little bit of a mad fuss, and then after start recording and claim that, oh, they did nothing wrong, it was all the drive through workers' fault. I would like to order the teriyaki bowl with a root beer. And you wanted the egg roll for the drink, right? But you said you can't do that, so I will right. have a root beer instead of the drink. It cuts me out, so I, I didn't take cuss your you order. Out. Yes, no. you did, ma'am. Have I a said, good one. I didn't cuss you, you out, ma'am. I out. said, can I please ask to the manager? Out. What did, did I say? What did out. I say? Because everything's being recorded, and I didn't cuss you out at all. I did not. I like how she said she was recording the entire thing, but then doesn't show us what happened to start all this. It's only starts recording after her, whatever the hell she did. I'm sorry, but going off of how the worker was describing it, how calm the worker really was in this entire thing, it sounds like that when you got told a certain item wasn't available, you kind of cracked the shits a little bit, and well, he is karma. Here we have a customer who didn't quite get everything that they ordered on their receipt, so they are really complaining to the drive through person like, Hey, uh, we didn't get everything we ordered, and the drive through person has just been a bit of an annoyance. I'm not leaving until I get what I ordered. You just gave me you a what you ordered. No, you just gave yeah, me a you you ordered. Yeah, you got what you ordered, so bye. I'm not going anywhere, so you're going to have to... Well, if you say you have to find the cops on you, because I have to leave, I have a receipt for what I paid for. I gave you what you ordered. No, you didn't. Yeah, you yeah. want me to show you, and then you flip me off in the building? Really? How mature are you? I gave you? you what you ordered. Yeah. I need you to leave, please. I need the food that I ordered. I have a receipt, so if you want to... And I gave you what you ordered the first time. You just weren't happy with it. I'm sorry. It was not even a complete anything. I took pictures and everything, so if you want to call the cops, i The pictures of what? The food? 
that we ordered. And I gave you a bacon twist and a bacon ultimate the second time you came through. So I don't know what else you want from me. I asked You're already out of me money. Guys. I need you to leave. I asked her for Please, 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 I'm not getting out of the line please until leave. I get what I want. Please leave. Okay, I've got to query this. Is there just places in America where you can only use the drive through and there is no way to go inside to talk to someone else? Because in this situation, why are you just holding everyone else up at the drive through Why not just go park up, go inside with your receipt, with your food, and ask for the manager? Because if you go inside, you're most likely not going to immediately deal with the same person as before, and you're far more likely to get your problem solved this way. If not, okay then I'd be upset, whatever. But sitting in the drive through talking to someone through a speaker is just, it's gonna be a waste of time, clearly. Clearly they don't give enough of a crap to actually help you with your problem, so go inside and be more annoying that way, and maybe you'll get a solution. In this clip, a person with a disability goes and talks to a person who complained about their service dog apparently going to the toilet in the yard. And that worker decides to escalate things to a very interesting level. Is Amy here? She is. Where is she? She is in the back. Okay, I need to speak to her. Okay. Somebody asking for you? I'm not. What? What's the problem with my service dog going to the bathroom? Are you going to come in here with an attitude with me? First of all, you disrespected my mom. I'm asking you a question. What's the problem with my service dog going to the bathroom? Director, you call your landlord. What, what does that mean? If you have a problem, we don't you just told her you, that she, my service dog can't poop right there if we, we're picking it up. I asked you guys to be discreet about... We don't need to be discreet. It's a you service dog. Discreet, my dis my disability is not discreet, is it? My disability yeah, is not discreet. Yeah. So I don't need to be discreet Goodbye. about my service Goodbye. dog. If I have to hear anything Goodbye. else, I'll get my lawyer involved. Well, Thanks. Go ahead and get your lawyer. And you can get yours too. All you're... I have to do is call and say evict them. Okay. okay. Yep, evict me because my service dog is going to the bathroom. Good luck with that legal case. Good luck. Know. It's, it's an emotional dog. Yeah, my, uh, the, you know what my disease is called? That. You know what my disease is called? It's called myelinolipodendrocyclicoprotein antibody disease. I don't think that's emotional, honey. I was blinded and paralyzed, okay? I go through frequent bouts of paralysis. That's not emotional. And right now, that's very illegal. I have it on video, so if you want to keep talking, I would love that. It doesn't so matter. much more. Let's go. No, she's not going to, she's not, uh, my disability is not discreet. This is not worth I don't this. Need, I Let's don't, go. I don't need to be discreet. When you first moved in, I asked you, can you please take the dog? Can I hold on, no, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. I need to talk now. And I said, I need to tell you something. I left out of here Monday and got into a car accident going out of this complex. That's the reason why I wasn't down at the dog park today. There was a huge boulder in the middle of the road some kids pushed it in the middle of the street where you guys don't have lights down there and i got into an accident i usually go down to the dog park but you caught me going out here today but i was in an accident so i couldn't drive down to the dog park and you know what i was probably going to talk to you guys about that too because you guys should have that lit up down there and you don't okay so back to You're the original issue my, I, I got an accident it's not an emotional support and dog you know look leave Right now, it's illegal to no, do what she's no, doing. I don't, I don't care. care. I don't want to hear her. I don't care. Anymore. She knows she's wrong. That's why you can't do anything. Try to evict me for that. Stupid. You're okay. Okay. You better. What is? Oh, uh, are you kidding me? My dad just died. All right. Stupid. You're an idiot. Wow. Good God, what a horrible interaction. I, I just love how this person closes it by saying, my dad died today, closes the door. If your dad died today, then why the hell are you at work with this entire mess if you're clearly not emotionally stable? Because that's what you're apparently blaming this on, your weird and over-the-top reaction to, okay, yes, I guess it's annoying to see a dog take a crap on a yard, but if they're going to pick it up right afterwards, then who flipping cares? It's not the end of the world, it's not going to destroy anything. If they're cleaning up after their dog, then who actually cares at the end of the day? That's how I see it. If I see a person's dog just taking a crap on the footpath, that's very annoying. But if they pick it up after them, then okay, cool, I don't care beyond that. Like, I don't see why there'd be a problem with that. If they clean up after their dog, then there'd be no issues which they say they would, so I don't know why we're here in the first place. Mm. 
Here we have another Karen who's going off at a bunch of skaters and even gets to the point of actually hitting one of them a few times. Genius, whilst on camera. They're stalking up on Wawa. Oh, oh, Brandon, jump in front of me. Jump in front of me. Let's go, boy. Get away from my camera. Hey, dude, hide the camera. Hide the fucking wall. I'll put you wall. You guys just gotta jump in front of me. Oh, shit! Oh! 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 Oh!
She is sitting in the common area and she's okay. recording me. She did, she is, she stated that she is not a tenant. You did say that as like something yes, to I, challenge yeah, yourself yes, with, I right? Did. But like in part of doing that and building relationships with other people is the other the other piece of that intentionally um i know it's part of it because you're moving back like coming back home so when you lived here before what did that look like oh sorry hold on i have the owner of the building on the phone here hold on he would like to talk to you he would like to talk to you i not only enjoy being by myself i prefer it have to don't touch me that's what you're do just do not touch me do not record me do not touch me don't do it i promise you that's not what you want hello hi there all right give me what's, just a moment the officers have me okay. um i'm conducting a hello i'm conducting a meeting here in this space due to my office i'm locked out of the office but i had a client i was meeting with okay. um oh, she said that i was too loud and she so i put in my airpods mm -hmm. and but she's continued to come back and harass and so i've started to record her okay okay um, well, if you would have just said that you're left out of your office but I'm who sorry. are you i don't have to answer to you and see that's why i called the police and that's fine that's your prerogative mm -hmm. Um, Police are typically called when people don't feel safe. I did nothing to you. I'm just conducting a meeting in a building that I lease office space in that I'm currently locked out of. But I didn't know that. And why don't you? Because you don't know me. So you're right. a stranger. So, so, we'll just let you get back to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all I want to do is just finish meeting with a client who has heard her come in here and try to hit, snatch, take a phone. Why am I in here? Who am I? If your office is upstairs, why are you down here? I don't even know her. Okay. Uh, can, can you ask me one question? Or what is your, your suite I'm in number? suite 302, and if you okay. look through the door, you'll see Dr. Marquisha Frost on not the first, yeah, but the no, second. I just want to just, just, No, it's okay. So I have a clear, business card no, no, and no, identification. We're just clarifying for, for the cameras. That's no, all. I appreciate that. Okay. It's part of this building abandoned? Is it like they use it? No, all of it is leased office okay. space. Oh, okay. Well, just Yeah, different levels are different businesses, but yeah, all of them are. I love her facial expression once she actually says, yeah, I'm blocked out of my building currently, so I have to do it out here. Just the sheer amount of egg on her face for this entire thing is absolutely hilarious. Considering that she attempted to try and yoink the phone out of the person's hands for some dumb reason, especially when they're recording, like, it's just like eggs all over your face heck it's all over your clothes it's all over you it's probably all inside you everything's gone horribly wrong for your day here and you've just made a massive massive fool of yourself because you have no idea how to mind your own business here was someone ubering their way to school for the morning and decided to eat in someone else's car and when the uber driver calls them out saying hey I'll don't eat in my car she's not happy with that and gets herself kicked out of the uber she then calls 911 because yeah you being mad disrespectful. You're the one that's in the car. You're the car. And you're still not. And you're and still I'm not in the car. So you're showing exactly what the reason yeah. why I'm kicking you out. Hi, I have an Uber driving. Uber driver being mad disrespectful. I just paid fourteen dollars to get to school, and he's kicking us out. Okay, what's the address? Um. It's Forty First Street. Forty First Street, Street ma'am. Um, it's a black car. You know what? For this, I'm not going to school, bro. He blew my head. Hello? Bro, how is he just gonna kick us out? I don't know. He's being mad disrespectful. Cool. You being mad disrespectful? No. You got a dollar for the I, bus? You got yeah, you got five dollars for the bus? No. It's not my fault. You, you're gonna, you're gonna. Wait, pay stop screaming! Cause how is her actions gonna cause with, with everybody's actions? He's paying fourteen dollars like, right now. How does that work? I don't understand. He's paying fourteen dollars right now. Give me fourteen dollars right now. Give me fourteen dollars right now. I just paid fourteen dollars. No, I'm not taking another Uber. 
No, we're not getting out. Don't get up. You being mad disrespectful. You butt her or something? No. Nope. Like you heartless or something? You're useless. Okay. I'm going to hell for this. Alright. You're wasting my time? You're wasting, You're my, wasting time? my time. Right, okay. I just not even care. We paid cause four stop because I just turned her around and say, say Man, this, bro. that. So you're making a snake one for no reason. Um, I have uh two oh. individuals in my vehicle that are doing Uber and they don't want to get out of the car. We paid fourteen dollars. No, the the girl called. We paid fourteen dollars. The girl called. The, we paid fourteen dollars. The, you can hear her in the background. They won't get out. My they won't. We're not gonna get out. Bruz, you're being mad disrespectful because you're not letting me eat in your car. The fuck? You're being completely disrespectful because you're not, not only you're eating in someone else's car without even asking them, you're now doing it even in spite of the fact that they've literally told you they don't want you do, to do that. You, you understand that there's a reason why some people don't let you eat in their flipping cars because some people make Vanessa's and they're an annoyance to clean up. I, I, I don't I, I don't know how like entitled you must be to believe that you have the right to eat food in someone else's car, but uh that's not how this works. Here we have a Karen going all conspiracy theorist mode against a bunch of contractors who are just installing new reception things. I'm with the Wisconsin State Assembly. Are you gentlemen aware of what this is? Or do you actually think this is sell? This isn't cell service. You can laugh all you want, sir. I went to Wisconsin State Assembly, and this is military-grade radiation. Not true. Cool. And you're going to all have blood on your hands? Just, just, yeah. Just don't call. Did you sign NDAs with the state? Don't talk? You're all going to have blood on your hands. This is radiation. Oh, it's real funny, huh? Can I have your cards? I'd like all of your business cards, please. No? Not going to give it to me? All right. Then I'll just get your faces on camera. I got all your trucks already. So you can give me your card and tell me who you are. And you can pretend I'm not with the Wisconsin State Assembly and laugh. Yep. It's radiation, sir. Military grade radiation. They turn it on and off like a microwave. And you're unraveling it. And if you signed an NDA, do you have children? Look it up. Children'sHealthDefense.org. And I'm glad that you have a smirk on your, fa your face and you think this is real funny. You have blood on your hands, sir. Do your research. You're installing military-grade radiation to kill this neighborhood. And I got you all on film, so when they all start dying, you'll have your smirking, arrogant face to show the world. Goodbye. You're sick. I'd love to see your thoughts now, considering I'm assuming this clip is probably at least a year or something old, like it's been a hot minute since this actually happened. I would love to see her opinion nowadays, seeing as I would assume no one's died to radiation in that neighborhood. Is she still on her Wisconsin Safety Council or whatever the hell she was calling it? Is she still going on about that bullcrap? I don't know. Here we got an Uber driver doing a delivery, and when they walk up to this fast food shop, it turns out they decide to close their lobby section early for the night for ultimately no good reason and attempt to force the uber driver to go through the drive through like everyone else is currently doing all right so i just want to share this with the uber uber eats group so this is del taco you have to come in and get the order right well guess what they're doing they lock this because they hate their job so they lock the lobby now i have to go in the drive through with a big old line to make a couple bucks what do you guys think do you think they can just Open the door, look, look. Watch, I'm gonna show you. It's not 10 p.m., they locked it early. They locked it early. Look, they locked it early, and they won't even, they want you to go around and use the drive through Look at their what? Look, 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 look. See, look. Are you gonna give me my order or what? I need to get my order, boss. Look, they won't give me my order, my Uber Eats order. I'm here to pick up my order. Hello, I'm here to pick up my order. Look at him. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm trying to pick up my Uber Eats order. Your lobby doesn't close until 10 p.m. It's only 9 p.m. right now. Your lobby doesn't close until 10 p.m. Hey, so check it out. These guys don't want to do their job right. They close their lobby early, so I can't pick up my order. So we're gonna put this on the Reddit so people can see how Del Taco 
They're not doing the job. Look at that trying to film me. Jesus Christ, what wacky behavior from the workers there. It's like, oh yeah, it's about an hour before we're actually meant to close. Let's close now. And then when people try to come through the lobby, nah, 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 nah. This is one of those cases where I hope someone, uh, there's a Karen in the drive-thru who decides to stop in the drive-thru and hold up everyone else because that'll lead to more complaints to the workers because there's no way to go inside at this point in time because they closed the lobby early because they're, they're just that type of, I don't get it. It's a, Next we have a Karen who goes off at a woman inside of the bathroom because she has short hair, wears sweats, and has a hoodie, so she assumes that she's transgender, even though she's not. And just goes on this entire tirade about them being in the wrong bathroom and how they should only I choose how they identify themselves at home and don't play those gender shenanigans in public spaces or whatever the hell. And you're going to be called out for whatever you're doing. So what are you identifying as today? I don't think that's any of your business. Okay, it's not. So you're in the ladies' room where I think I need to identify you. You do not need to identify me. Is that right? How old yeah. are you? doesn't matter. Really? Okay. Who will wait for the police to come and pick you Okay. Okay. Let's wait for the police to come. Yeah, because this is not the way you play your shit. Go down on the strip and try to do it there. I don't do it up here. This is a suburb. Oh, not allowed. Mm -hmm. Not allowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think you're going to be a woman when I, it's okay, and be a man when it's okay. No, no. Figure out your identity in your bedroom, uh -huh. okay? okay? And then project it on everybody else and we'll accept it. Uh -huh. This is not acceptable. Let's go get security. Yes, yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, she's harassing me. For being in the bathroom. What's going on? Well, I'm asking her what her identity is. It's my girlfriend. It's a full-on yes, woman. It's your She's girlfriend. Cool. So yes, it's yeah, a girl. Have to have Doesn't matter. Step back. And just for a bit of a side rant here, this is the biggest problem with the current stage of gender politics and trans this and blah 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 all this mess is it's now just causing that people who don't fit the stereotypical look of their gender is now being harassed for being in their appropriate bathroom because they don't look what they perceive to be a woman or what they perceive to be a man because you you look too girly to be a man must mean you're a transgender person in the wrong bathroom her oh, let's harass you or you're a woman who has short hair and kind of dresses up like a man more of a tomboy type person no you're transgender now i'm gonna harass you for being in the wrong bathroom it's like like so many people are now just being harassed for no good reason because people care way too much about this gender politics nonsense when the stereotype of a normal person in any gender is completely like doesn't fit at 90 percent of people nowadays and there's also a few things more with this clip there are a few updates on this person's tiktok i will have it on screen here for you so you can go check it out yourselves but to give it a shorthand basically security only threw her out for the rest of the night she was allowed to come in the next day they claimed that this Karen was extremely drunk in this entire clip and that's why they're not going to do anything about it they will give her the details and allow her to and may look into the investigation again if she decides to press charges but the casino ho hotel doesn't particularly care that much in the grand scheme scheme of things they claim that half the problem is because not many young people go to the casino so she doesn't know what young people look like and so she uh harassed you for potentially being trans even no you're not but that doesn't even matter in the situation she harassed you for being trans in the first place which is just stupid and the casino doesn't really potentially give a shit in any way shape or form the woman who was recording this clip will be attempting to press charges, but beyond that initial update, I don't know what's happened since because there doesn't seem to be anything more. Here have a guy who is trying to make a repossession on a certain car, and the owner of that car decides to come out and starts axing away at the wires and bits holding the car to the towie. Uh, 
Sir, you know, this is going to cause you a lot of trouble. I don't give a f I'm videotaping this. I don't do ask me if I care. Well, I mean, obviously not, but you know, you're going to pay the damages. Not paying no damages. Sir, the truck is repossessed. It's on state property now. It's not on your property anymore, so stop it. Because you took it out of my property. I was actually not on your property. I was on the street. The truck was not on the street. No, my truck was. I hooked it up by the front tires. So quit it. Hey, stop it. Freaking get away. No, you get the f*** out of me. Okay, you better get away. No. What makes you think this is a good idea to do? Just going out there with your axe and trying to break off the wire. And secondly, why is the repo guy recording this? Shouldn't he call in the police? If he's doing a legal repossession, shouldn't he like have police officers and people to help on hot dial when uh, people that he's repossessing stuff from become violent like this? Like, isn't that the first thing you should be doing? Not like, oh, I've got to make sure to record this. This guy is swinging an axe at my stuff. I should totally record this and not alert the authorities so that I could potentially have them come ASAP because there's this guy roaming around with a bloody weapon. Like, I don't think you have the brightest mind. I think your mind of clout came first rather than getting the proper authorities and then uh, keep maintaining a certain difference, telling them to go away, but uh, not get too close because, you know, you don't want to get yourself hurt. Uh. Here we've got a pair of young adults who decide to antagonize the neighborhood's local crazy person. Again, the same thing they've been doing for like, what, a decade at this point, apparently. Guy has been with us since we were in our early teen years and now he's still filming us as we drive by. Look at this asshole. Go around him. Hey, how you doing? Hey, brother! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> What are you gonna do? He's sitting there yelling and shit, dude. We're not doing anything. Look at him. Look at he's walking down the street. <laughs> Call me a pussy and sh Look at that back. <laughs> Let's go! Oh. <laughs> I have a permanent stick up my vagina! Now making an attempt to leave the neighborhood. See if this guy will let us. There we go. Oh, he's recording us. Hey, beautiful. How old are you? Why are you acting like you're five? Why are you acting like you're five? You just freak like a fucking pussy. You're a bad fuck, dude. Get the fuck out. Go. Get out. Go ahead, videotape me. Go ahead. Oh, believe me, I definitely am. We were trying to leave. You're drunk. You're screaming in the middle of the road. Fuck you! Don't you ever threaten me, motherfucker! Years, years, you been ranting. We didn't. We didn't do a god thing to you. Get the away from me. How many times have you? You. Yeah. You're 23. Your your mom oh. left you because you're a fat pussy. Oh, you're also a fatter. Look like at you, dude. Oh, okay. Why don't you keep crying about it? Keep crying about it. Keep crying about it. Oh, dude, I'm so fat. Oh God, I don't even have to take Viagra. I my dick works the way it's supposed to, man. It's a, it's a crow. Oh, look, I got him, dude. It's a fun. Look at this. Fuck you. You cry. Look at this faggot. Holy sh! Like you are so man. embarrassing to the human race, dude. Make more money than a you make my entire life. Uh, you you face. Come on. Look at him go. Oh, really? Look at him go. Oh, really? Oh, your dad? Your Why don't you get out of the road before they you? Why do that? Bro, get the fuck out of a man. It's a Jeep. <laughs> oh, man, he's still caught up oh, about man, the Jeep from out. seven oh, years ago, oh, dude. <laughs> Oh shit! Look at this. You know why? 
Oh pussy. my god! You're a pussy! pussy. Drive I don't give a f what you think I'm gonna do? Drive around the wall? Please pussy, stop dude. speeding by our house. We're not speeding no. it. Pussy, dude. Nothing. Oh, pussy. Oh. Using me a full. But you're, you're dude, you man. literally you're you are is crying you have, so you hard. All you have is a truck and pedal. That's all you Why got. Why you let this man go? Why don't you standing in the middle of the road like a crazy person? You look crazy. You're a truck. Why don't you get out of the road? Why don't you understand that? Let this kid sink himself because he's pussy. He wants to speed by our house for years. You've swerved your car at me. You have threatened yeah. me, and you make me and you in my are house. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. Speeding by my hey. house. Someday you're you gonna get my yeah. cat and I'll be like, off this cool. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Torment but you. <laughs> Holy <laughs> sh. You're a little bit. Pussy, Look dude. at you. You're a oh, pussy. That's what you call me. Yeah, you know, because you're a fast lefty, because you're a just like. <laughs> <laughs> you what do you got? Uh, it's alright, dude. He's gonna hang himself in his bathroom because he can't handle I got you, a dude. Truck. I got that's a all boat. he's gonna do. I got my own house. I got a got job house. making more money than that man. He's drinking that hater. <laughs> drinking that hater, man. He's so man. He does. <laughs> 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 it was just. <laughs> 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 Dude, that was just. That was amazing. <laughs> like I, I get it. it they, they are purposely antagonizing this guy as much as they humanly can. Like that is wrong to a certain degree, but at the same time, apparently, according to these guys, this guy's been this crazy towards them for God knows how long. So they're now just playing around with him, toying him, just being an antagonizing asshole towards him because you know this guy's a bit of a crazy nut job that doesn't know how to keep a handle on his own emotions and just absolutely loses it, potentially on a roid rage <laughs> against these people just because uh. I, I don't get it. And I also love how their partner just keeps getting involved going off with these young adults, as well as also trying to get their partner to back off at the same time. It's like, pick a lane and stay in it. You're either trying to get your partner to back off, or you're getting involved in going off with these people with your partner. You can't just do both. That's not how the world works, buddy. Here we've got a Karen who is clearly drunk out of her goddamn mind, accusing someone else of stealing her drinks, and decides to sit down at the table and continuously berate them about it. Us that we stole someone's drinks when these are our yeah. drinks. Oh, for no? what? What okay. am I? This lady right here is accusing us of stealing her own drinks. When Don't touch friend. my drink. What is wrong with you? Oh, Don't touch, touch my drink. drink. No, you my cannot best. touch my drink. Oh, I can't. You touch can't touch my drink. No. No. When my best friend is gay. We pay for it. these two drinks right when here, and gay. she's following us around, accusing us of stealing her. Who is it? Your husband's drink. Where is your husband, by the way? <laughs> it doesn't matter, cause my best friend's gay. This lady he is too. What does that have to do with anything? You're crazy. You are crazy. You are crazy you right are now. So no. I'm oh sorry. Oh why are why are we the crazy ones? We're, oh we're minding our own God. business with these well, two drinks that we bought. That okay. we bought. You, why are you trying to touch my you drinks? You do your thing, boo. Why are you? No, I'm not your boo. I'll no. never be your boo. Okay, you don't, You'll yeah. be too lucky if I was your boo. Trust me. Oh, honey, you don't have to be my boo. Uh, then why are you here? Why are you at the table right now? Why are you harassing me? Can you please go away? No, go away. I don't want you here. No, We're trying to mind our business with our dreams. You, if you're better than me, then go be I'm with your better you. friends. Then go do something that's better then than turn, sitting here. Then turn your phone Bye. Off. Get out of my turn table and I'll turn your phone off. Get out of my table and I'll turn my phone off. Turn turn phone off. Phone off. I don't care about your phone. All I care about is in your you're in my space. You're harassing us. Bye -bye. We didn't take anyone's Bye -bye. drinks. Bye -bye. Go mind your business. Bye -bye. You followed me. We were already sitting here. Oh, you followed us to this I table. Bye -bye. Can you remove Bye -bye. this lady, please? Because she's crazy and I don't know what she's talking about. Can you tell her to leave me alone? We were already sitting here. How are you going to tell us to leave you alone? You followed us to this table. I'll stop recording you once you get up and get out of my space, please. As long as you don't fight. No, I'm not moving nowhere. I'm not moving. I'm not moving nowhere. No. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a nice day, lady with your hat, with the flower in your hat. Get out of here. 
There's no way she's not drunk or high or maybe even both at the goddamn same time because no sane person would act in this way. Actually, scratch that, given the clips I've already seen in this video, uh, yeah, sane people could probably act in this way because people are crazy. <laughs> but I just don't get this entire interaction. She's there going, no, this is my drink and uh, it doesn't matter where my husband is because my best friend's gay. It's like, okay, yeah, you're clearly out of your mind because that doesn't make sense in any form of context of what's happening here, lady. Here we've got a kid running 11 8 sand on the side of the road and we have this Karen who decides to come up and make a big deal about it because they don't have the actual permits to do such a thing. No, it's going to, you have your own home, right? Yeah. We're here trying to, I don't need the you traffic. You see us. I, I don't, no why'd you choose mine? Because it's by the road where more people come by. Okay, well there's plenty of other and places, sir. Please move your This is just a public place. No, but it's not a thing I've ever heard. Yeah. No, it's an HOA. You can't. It's you a can. county road. It's this a is a county road. Okay, it's an HOA. You have to have a permit. Okay. 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 Can I give you some cinnamon rolls? Ma'am, I don't want the cinnamon rolls. I just don't want the traffic. You guys didn't even it's consider not... the people who live here. Yeah, we did. We told you, but it's going by camera. No, you didn't. You didn't come over. You didn't I ask. I told her what she was setting up. As soon as you get set I up, go across. I'm going to go there. That's this. not my husband. Or whoever. Okay, okay. just please move. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be polite. I really yeah, we are, am. No, we're just... We're just exercising I don't life. really, you're not exercising me right now. I'm telling you it's illegal. Well, I don't think it is. It is. Because we looked into it. We've had a lemonade too. We had to have a permit. We have our own property. So, yes, I do. I have five kids. But I also want to go set up another front of other people's houses without asking if it was okay. That's You're so great. Point. So you have to stay through that way. This is also the entrance to my home, yes, sir. Yes. This is right yes, here. Yes. This is. Okay, this is ours here. This the, the community here. Right, right. So if you have your community set up in your community. I, that's all I'm asking is you guys did not ask. We didn't come. Why you just we set ask up. You? It's public property. It's, like it's polite. Yeah, well you're hot or who that is that like was, having was a yard not polite to us at all. Well, well I'm you know, trying to be call polite. The cops. Okay. Do it. We're only going to be here another yeah. 30 minutes. So. No, that's okay. You can pack up and go or the Okay. We will. So all she wanted to do this week was to have a little lemonade okay, stand. That's okay. You're so I great. That, but you well, set you're up. so yeah. sweet and neighborly. No I appreciate it. Our street. So we're like, oh, so you just, just pick a random street. Yeah, this so is a great so Yeah, you're the, the victim. Go ask them if you can set up over there. There. Public land over here. Okay, call the cops. I'm done talking to you okay. for this poor little girl. If so you had, I'm not, if I'm you not have children. You're making this a totally traumatic event. Mm -hmm. I do. How have sad. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys should ask. So oh maybe you God. should have a heart you in your body. You, it wouldn't have changed your mind. You I told heart, ma'am. Listen. But I follow, the, I look into the regulations and everything. Oh, I do it's have a freaking heart. lemonade stand. <laughs> Give me a care. break. Oh, call. I'm done talking to you. Okay. Call and then go away and let us sell until the cops come. No, well, then... don't sell. It's illegal. Okay, the cops can do that for us. Great. Yeah. Thank you, citizens. Arrest. Hey, look at no, it's, it's not super fun. Super fun. Thank you. You're great. You know, have a oh, that's what it was. You're amazing. Wow. Thank what you. Nobody stopping here either. So well, it's more of a chance. We said five cars go by and our house is at zero. Then you don't have to worry about the traffic, do you, that he was so worried about? 911 no, it. 911. <laughs> it's simple as easy. The cops don't need to get involved. You just need to pop up and go. We Not are 30 happen. minutes. Not 30 minutes. We were oh, get a life. Just do, just go call the cops in your house. Look at you, Miss Goody Two Shoes, just attempting to ruin a kid's day because you don't like the fact that they're running a lemonade stand without any form of permits. Uh, uh, I, I think that's just stupid. Like. Genuinely speaking, if there's no one really, the, the road doesn't seem to be that busy throughout this entire conversation. Like, what one car passes, one car passes. It shows me it's not really that busy of a road, especially at this point in time. And she just wants to make a big deal out of it. I don't know if 
Um, you guys live in- a lot of you guys live in America. What are your thoughts on this one? Here we have two people arguing on a beach and with a guy being recorded decides to play mediator between these two to find out what happened. What's the problem? You too? I'm just asking what's the problem? Uh, is there a problem? What's the problem? Yeah, these, yeah, absolutely. There's no problem, sir. She's just, uh, yeah, listen, all right, listen, two sides, come on. Okay, two sides, I'll hear Get two sides. You want to hear her story? If, you, you if, if we could stop shouting, mm -hmm. I would love to hear the story. What's the problem? There's no, there's no problem, No, sir. this, okay, check. Uh, Hold on, let, can you okay, let her yeah, speak? I'll, can you I'll, let her you speak? Still be here. I can come back. No, no, you, just, so just cal calm down. What's... If you need to contact someone you should contact them I, I i hope you have a blessed day have a blessed day and see, she's off. so you're a little yeah. bit angry too no, no. you're kind of yelling okay now check this out that woman over there god loves you sent a message over here. where in this, bathroom. in this bathroom over here sent what kind of a message i'm just asking what kind of message you're talking about you're yelling in front of my camp over here my kids are over here Okay. These people are out of touch. Okay, this woman just walk in here. You okay. know how you can talk back and forth and yes. in a family unit and say nothing? Yes. Okay. So she walks her kid in there. And you know how you can see eyes? There's what? You can, eyes? You can talk to someone else as long as you can see into their eyes. You can, okay, as a family unit, a mother always knows what her children are doing. Okay. Okay. So she takes her kid in there, has her children look into my eyes, okay? And then I'm not showing you. Kidding? You mean kidding? I'm not. I'm not kidding you. Okay. And I know. I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. I'm, I'm it's gonna, okay. Mm -hmm, because right. now you're validating my feelings, and I can see that you are really trying to problem solve here. Yeah. So thank takes, you. Yes. Yes. Okay. So she takes her children into the bathroom. She has the door wide open. Wow. And she has her son exposed, defecating on the toilet. You're saying this? Oh wow. No, yeah. her friend over here. That could be disturbing to someone. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Is that what happened though? You know, I don't. I wasn't there. I didn't see it. I just saw that there was a lot of yelling. And this is a front right and I, here. I just wanted. No, I'm. I'm not her friend. I don't even know her. I just felt that maybe you were hurting or she was hurting. So I just stopped to say hi to you. And to, if that was to so, you would have got out of my face. So I'm gonna go take a time out. Okay. You, you know what I mean. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Let's just chill. Because, uh, yeah, Let's just chill. The, 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 hey, hey, everybody, just one second. One second. One. I got a little hot and heated, and I'm going to go cry over here now it's, because you guys know damn well. But the beach is beautiful, right? Hey, man, okay. And okay. I'm just going to so All right. All right, take care. Sorry, I had to kind of just get in there a little bit. So. No, you're, you're okay. I was just Thank trying you. to... Um, trying to defuse that the, the lady was scared of her so you're trying to be a referee in the situation yeah i was trying to yeah. just divert her because there okay. were small children there and she was yelling stuff that was unnecessary so i was just trying to no problem divert her and i appreciate you stepping in and, yeah no problem you know yeah just, you know that's things. what i do i'm like a judge I, I i walk around and i judge things that's all i do oh good, yeah so good I'm not like a legal qualified judge, but you know, kind of, I try to rationalize with people. I don't know, whatever. Well, God puts us in places for reasons, so. Certainly does. Have a great uh, time at the beach. Thank you. Hey, I need a, a like an ish, initial reaction response to that. Can you close it out for me? That was what? crazy. I walked in on that and yeah, crazy. 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 Carrie, did you hear that whole uh, that message there, that argument? Uh, I did not hear a whole argument. But what did you think that was uh, happening over there as that lady? Just give me a little review of your perspective. So one lady thought that that lady was cuckoo. Yeah. And so yelled at the lady that get away from my children. Yeah. Is that what happened? So weird. I, I wasn't really listening. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what is this incident? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah. This drama. Something, something. She <laughs> keeps talking to herself. Yeah. yeah. Whenever someone seems like they're talking to themselves, yeah. I feel in that stuff. You know what I mean? Right. It's awesome. All right. Well, that was... Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. I, I don't even know what even happened here. It seems very goddamn convoluted and confusing, but it's funny nevertheless. <laughs> Man, some people are just wild. <laughs> Here we have a Karen who really seems to only have one word in her entire vocabulary by deciding to be racist with it. Just leave me alone! Can you yeah. please leave me alone? I'm not bothering you, please leave me alone. I'm not bothering you! And can you please watch the yeah. N-word? This is my ride, man. I don't know. I called them. If they come, they come. Dude, I'm gonna f*** this shit.
Kind of That's fine. Where's my right? You can target me all you want. That's fine. I don't know where your right is, bro. All right, I don't know where your right is. Disgrace. All right, that's fine. To human rights. That's fine. You are disgrace to human rights. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool, dude. What's up, bro? That's cool. That's cool, dude. Yeah. All right. That's cool. You have yeah, a good all night, right, man. Dude. All right, yeah. Yeah, fuck you, dude. All right, that's nice. Where the fuck is my right? Bro, I don't know, man. But can you leave me alone, though? You fucking on my vibe. Like I said, I called the taxi. If they, when they come, they come. I don't have a time yeah, on. No, I don't have to that. Sorry about that. I called them when they come, they come. I don't have exact time on them. I actually called them again when you called me mm -hmm. and all kind of stuff, which I didn't appreciate. I didn't well, come I at you. I didn't come at you disrespectful yeah, at all. I didn't come at you disrespectful at all. I don't care. You act like a That's I'm fine. Call you Can you please stop calling me that? Well, if you're going to act like a I, 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 I am what I am. I don't care. So can you please you stop calling me that? Like bigger, then I'm please, gonna please call stop calling me that. I don't care. Can you please stop calling me that? I don't care. You're a nigger if you act like a. I am what I am. Well, then you're a. And that's racist. Put your head down. You're racist. I'm not putting my head down. I don't care. I'm not putting my head down. You're a if you act like a. Nigger. That's fine. Well, then I'm not, I'm you're a nigger if you act like a. I'm a rich like nigger. nigger. That's fine. You're a if I'll be that. Like that's fine. Fucking... No problem. That's fine. You're acting like a. I. How am I acting? I am what I am. I'm black, right? That's why. Yeah. We do what we do. What do you guys do? You're a. Fucking... What do you guys do? What is it that 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 you guys do? Piss me off. I do anything to you. All right, no problem. Can you please stop following me? You have a good night. I'm not following you. Yes, you are. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not putting my head down. Never put my head down. That's why. I'm proud of it. What do you guys have to do? What do you have to do? What do you have to do? What is it that you have to do? What is it that you have to do? What is it that you have to do? That's why we have to. Do what? Do what we have to what do. What is it that you guys have to do? What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? You're a racist. Because you're being a fucking you're a racist. Right now, you're I didn't do anything to you. You asked me to call you a cab. I called you a cab and then you start calling me on my no, name. You're treating me like that. I haven't done asshole. anything to you. No. No! I literally no. haven't done it. You stepped up and you're being a jackass no, and you're not being right with God right now. That's fine. You're not being right with God. That's fine. You're not being right with God. That's fine. You're not being right with God. That's fine. Can you please back up? Can you please back up, dude? You're not Seriously. being right with God. All right. You know you're not being right I'll with God. I'll take that up you with him. You know it! I'll take, him up. I'll take that up with him. Can you please leave me alone and back up, please? Come on, you. Can you please back up, please? Come on. Can you please back up, Come please? On, you can you please back up, please? Come on, you. Can, I, can you please back Come up, on, please? Got the KKK right here. That's fine. They're watching me invisibly. They're watching you. Oh, uh, that's cool. They're watching you. Come that's, on. Can you please back Come up, on, please? You. Can you please back up, please? Come on. Can you please back up? Come on, you. Can you please back up? No, can you please back up? I haven't oh, done anything. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Come on, you fuck. You want to put Lisa out in the open? Uh, you have to be careful. There's a lot of... Oh, fuck. That's fine. Come on, you fuck. Can you please leave me alone and stop Come following me? The are fucking over the United States. Take it over the United States of America. There goes PD. I'll have PD handle you. Fine. Get uh, me a I'm gonna get you a taxi, which is PD. Why?
Well, this dog's all bark and no bite. Just dropping the same n-word over and over and over again. I get it, you wanna be racist, but you really have no creative way of doing so. So you do the simplest thing that you can do. Say the n-word a million different times. It, I mean, <laughs> clearly this guy's not bothered by it. It's really ridiculously stupid, but like, can you be more creative? Like, I, I get you want to be racist, but do you have any other way of doing it instead of just doing the same thing over and over again? It's like, you're really just the one-line Terry over here just repeating the same thing. You got nothing different. You just want to say the same thing over and over again, hoping that each time you say it, it might have a different effect. But does it? And now, now you just embarrass yourself on the internet. Good job. <laughs> Here we got a Karen who was supposed to have left the hotel 5.30 the previous afternoon. She decided not to and stayed overnight and when she gets called out in the morning by the manager of the hotel, she tries to say that she brought this reservation on her phone when the manager asks for the confirmation number since it's not in their system. Uh, the, the Karen decides to uh, deflect saying that she didn't do it through her phone and various other things. For a Karen at work yeah, part. I, to speak to a manager. I am a manager, ma'am. Do what you gotta do. Okay, we can walk you up. Or I can no, you're not going to walk me up to my room and show me my phone ma'am, to ma prove to you that I have a reservation. Ma'am, you clearly stayed in the room past 5.30 last night. Yeah, I did, because I thought I had another book. You never booked another one, ma'am. Yes, I did. Okay, so there's another issue. And now you want me to show you proof? Yes, so I can see it, because it's not in my system. And what if it's not in my phone? How would it not? How many hundreds of dollars do you want me to pay you to look at my phone, to go to my room and look at my phone? Ma'am, you Doesn't paid that $75 that dollars bit... yesterday Yeah. to stay until 5.30. You did not leave at 5.30. You did not make another reservation. I did make a reservation. That's so that's, that's what I'm what saying. All you have on. to do is show you're me saying... the reservation, ma'am. All I'm asking but is for you to show me the confirmation number. You're saying you're going to walk me to my room to show, to have proof in my yes, phone. because if I don't see First the proof, I can't allow you to stay in that on. room. There's internet, ma'am. All you have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. I, I tried to come down here to smoke a cigarette, but is this funny to you? I'm, am I laughing? I'm not laughing, ma'am. I came out to smoke a cigarette, and now you're saying, get out of our hotel and provide me money. I didn't say that at all. she didn't say that. that. That's what you're insinuating. You're gonna that's come not. to my room I'm making sure to show proof. I'm making sure that you actually made a reservation because I already caught you in one lie when you said that you spoke with a woman here. There's no other woman besides me that worked yesterday. I did speak with a woman. You couldn't have yesterday afternoon spoke with a woman, ma'am. That's impossible. You want to go to my room and look for proof? I'm not looking for doing? proof. All I said was show me the reservation, confirmation number that you made. You, just said that you, you said that you booked it on your phone. Yes. All you have to do is show me the email confirmation number so I can pull it up in the system and see where the res reservation is because I don't see it. But if I don't see proof of a All new right, reservation and there's not one in let's my go. system, then I can't allow you to stay in that room, ma'am. So, okay, so now you're telling me that you're not gonna allow me to stay in the room. If I don't have proof that you made another reservation to be in that room? Yep, yep. Then yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, you need to call somebody. Um, call, call, call no, 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 call. I'm not gonna call nobody because yeah, I'm yeah, the you manager, ma'am. Yeah, you do. You're not gonna tell me you're going up to my room and showing me proof. Ma'am, no. if you no. made a reservation, no. it shouldn't no. be no. that no. No. hard for you no. to no. give no. me the confirmation. No, no, because no. 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 yeah, that's yeah. what I'm about to do. Yeah. I'm just going to call the police to escort you out, ma'am. Okay. That's fine, because I can open the door so that you can get your things, but the police will come and escort you No, you're not even giving me that option. You're being like crazy. How am I being? <laughs> ma'am, I'm like, talking you're to you. You're not staying another night. Ma'am. That's fine. I'm talking to you as calm as I can be. All I did was ask for proof of the reservation. You're being crazy. How? You're telling me that I have to get out of my room How right now? It was I didn't say. Right? Do you have proof of the reservation, ma'am? That's all I said. I don't know. You can go look at my phone. You can search. Do whatever you want to do. Ma'am. Search for what? All you have to do is pull it up. My phone isn't on. Just go. Just it's go to just my room. It's just connected to the just internet. Go to my room. That's fine. I need to have a cigarette. If you want to search my room, you can't. I'm not searching your room, ma'am. All I need you to do is grab your phone and show me your confirmation number. It's not on. My phone is on, so let's go. 
So ma'am, how did you book the reservation? You just said you booked it through I your did phone. It. Yeah, I did it. Last okay, week, yeah. so all you have to do is show me the confirmation email that was sent to you. That's okay. it. If it's on there, that's fine. It's going it should be in your email, ma'am. Okay. How the fuck does this person work here? Yes, yes she I does. Guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going outside real quick. You can go to my room and go search room. I'm 99.9% .9 sure there was probably a way, way easier way of handling this entire situation than to just stay another night without actually paying for it. Like, if you needed to stay a few extra days because for some reason something came up that requires you to stay around a little bit longer, I'm sure if you went to the hotel lobby the day beforehand, before your checkout time, like, hey, uh, something's come up, I need to stay around for a few more days, is there any way I could just pay to stay a few more nights in the hotel? I'm sure they would have easily easily organize that for you and you would have had no problem. You may have had to switch rooms depending on things, especially considering how you managed to stay overnight and no one else went into that room and other things on those lines. Like, it, it seems like that they weren't a booked out hotel, but you could have actually asked and, hey, point out, like, something's come up, I need to stick around a little longer, can you help me? Just stay a few more days, like, just, just do something instead of what you did, because that ain't right. Kevin attempted to sneak out of the supermarket with a wide range of goodies, ranging from fried chicken to steak as well as way too much goddamn chocolate, all in an attempt to steal inside their bag. You did, you did, you did, you did, you did. You get some more stuff in there too, don't you? No, I just had the chicken. That's all Open all the pot right now. now. One, two, three. Open all the pot real fast. Come on, sir. No thanks. Let me see. Take it out. Open it up. Come on, bro. Yeah, open Come it up. On, Take all that out. Take all that out. Yeah, you know, more out the what are you doing, sir? All right, let me get my money. Oh, no, 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 no. Take it out the bag, sir. You put it in the bag. Come on. Stand your Right. Enter your whole dog. Right. 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 Yeah, we're calling it. Come on, man. Put it in the bag. What are we doing? Hey, look. I just tried to my money was back there. Oh, my God. Man, I tried to ring up a banana. Huh? Hey, man, you just slipped, man. Hey, man, you're all up. Come on, come on. Take it all out, man. Come on, come on. Pull it out. All up, man. Come on. Oh, my goddamn God. You just came for the plaque. Thank you. Damn. Bro, you want you want to put a CC on that man, bro? <laughs> That's just beautiful. Well, I mean, not really. I just love like the amount, like just loose, crispy chicken in the bag. It's not inside of any form of container, not inside any form of bag or packaging. They just took the chicken right out. But hey, don't worry. All the chocolates, the steak, all the candy, they're still in their typical bags. They don't have to worry about that too much. But <laughs> wow. Here we have some people assuming that these guys ended up stealing something from this TJ Maxx, but they have all their bags of clothing that each have a receipt associated with the stuff inside of them, proving that no, they didn't steal anything. But in spite of that, rather than just let them be on their way, this happens. He gonna sit he up there and he gonna stop us. He gonna stop us outside and say somebody called on us that we were suspicious. So I came back in with my receipt and everything on it that I bought. Why would I steal from TJ Maxx? What is TJ Maxx? And then he gets in here and say, nobody called on you guys. So he just, which, said, which in the, he just said outside, you said, why did you stop me? You I'll said, because I'm black. He said, yeah. a black person called on you. That's so what you said. the black person that called on you? Where the black, where's she at? Where's he at? I don't see nobody. We just stood in the line. And the other manager is right there that's at that thing. Her name you is Doris. You understand why I'm frustrated. Oh, I because I walked out of a store after paying my money I worked and hard for. Listen, and I you got, stopped me. I got told that there's someone possibly shopping here. You said that we paid for this. That's why I'm here, okay? If there's no problem, then there's no problem. No, but do you understand how embarrassing, embarrassing this, that is? Is? this is? We sat in this line. This is, and, you matter of fact, you know it, what? I we turn it, it off. We don't want yeah. shit. We turn it off. Everything in here is on that thing. Can you make sure? She, she just made sure. Who the hell are you? She you just said that. Have more bags right. in the car. What? Right. Go get it. A different store. Go get it. Go get it. Y'all don't have to explain all that. Y'all calm down. Y'all got to record it. 
Uh, so I got to explain, and y'all don't got to go and get no other bags. Items? If nobody ain't telling y'all, other store, y'all don't have to store no other He bags. trying to make her say that we took yeah. something. Yeah. What's here? Okay, can you get the other bags instead of the car? What? Because she said that what is here is only what's on those receipts. You That's what it's supposed to be. What's there is only on the receipts. This is another bag yeah, with, with a different receipt. This okay, is a perfect. different bag. Okay. They just have to check it. But they done checked it. She told you that we paid for it. Are you the one who called on us, ma'am? No, he said a black employee called on us. A male. A male? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Where the male they, 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 they sing on the black yeah. Yo, this crazy, yo. This is crazy. It's going on where's, Facebook where's too. The black male that called yeah. yeah. Where did it go? Where the black person that called on us? Right. I don't work here, but he does work here. So how? Where, so where he at? Exactly. The lady yeah, just said we paid for well, everything. You he trying not. to make us go he to the not. car to get a bag to say we didn't pay? Oh, Come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, I shop all the time, brother. I got that. Okay, so. No, they're not TJ Maxx bags. No, Those are the receipts right there. Those are the merchandise. Right. I get it. Okay, I'm not accusing you ladies of anything. Please. Okay. Ma'am, this is what I Yeah. I want my money back. This ain't right, yo. We bought all this crap. Spent almost $300 in here. Why are there so many receipts? Because he's so many of them. No, 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 y'all better not explain that. So it was three different ways. Y'all better not explain that. It was, wait, wait a second. Y'all been not explaining it. Why is there five receipts? Y'all been not explaining it. She just retired. Y'all been not explaining it. Be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. She returned y'all money. That's all that matters. Don't say nothing. Y'all been not explaining it. Is that a return receipt? No, no. Did you give them a return receipt? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You wanted so bad. Y'all better not explain. Y'all got money for so bad. Why did y'all got five items? I tell you, boy. I, 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 I tell you, he wanted so bad. Why do they have that many receipts? Do it. Come on, bro. We got twenty receipts. Come on. Think about it like this, right? No, no, no. I go. No, think, think about it. No, I'm gonna play it out for you. I'm, I'm there with my two kids. Okay. All three of us make purchases. So if we go to the register and everyone pays by themselves, there should be three receipts, correct? No. Yeah. How about I want to use different credit cards on different It's items. still gonna be on the same receipt. No, it won't. No. 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 Because they let you know. Give me to prove it to you. I'm not here to I'm by myself and I got two receipts. I'm trying to receipts. explain this to you, right? I'm trying to explain this to you. No, you, so you just said something that's up. wrong. You say you're trying to explain something. You dead wrong what you just said. If I see someone come out with five receipts. I don't care if I have 20 receipts. If I want to use cash and I want to use a different um, credit card. You could be going to There's buy no some for other people. You're saying there's no reason, but you There's just no said something that's wrong. So right? okay, You've been you. the most calm person. No, here. yeah, until you just did what you did to ask about the receipts. We don't do that. We million that we don't do that now. I can use I can use a, a, a million American Express if I choose to. I can use a black one. I can use a platinum. I can use a gold one. And I'm by myself. If I want to use um bring everything up different. It's mine. So don't make don't make that statement. That's what you went wrong there. That's yeah, what you went wrong. So I just want the, the no, but what you just said was wrong. I'm here. I understand I all the other part. We talked talk to the manager. All oh, that was cool. That's why I called him down. The part you just did. I appreciate that. The part you just did was wrong. We're here to confirm. Just that you guys. That you guys. But what you did about the receipts was wrong, though. I just love the check. No, you know that's not what you. This place gets it. You are now you make now you accusing them because you said why we the shop The whole reason that we're here. I ain't never seen nothing like this in all my life. Y'all, we in Gillette at the TJ Maxx. But Don't come up here. That you need to bring that person out right. and say that they actually saw them you, doing it. You understand? Like, oh, he on lunch. Oh, he on lunch. Oh, 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 no, 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 he no, on lunch. No, no. He on lunch. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you know that they sold. You know, I don't just get why after you see that, yep, uh, this receipt matches everything in this bag. It's also today's date. It's an earlier time from not that long ago. Yep, makes sense. Like, and I don't get why you didn't just move on to that point. It's clear that they did actually purchase a, at least a majority of the things there, probably all of the stuff in those bags. Why are you now just be hassling these actual customers? When you can clearly see that no, they most likely didn't steal anything whatsoever. They've clearly got the receipt for the stuff in this bag. They've got another receipt for the stuff in this bag. It's probably all fine. Let's just move on with our days and stop wasting everybody's damn time. Here we have a Karen who decided to let their dogs poop on the yard and decides not to pick it up even though they've pooped in an area that is public property. And when they get confronted by someone else to point out that they should be picking it up, they, uh, yeah, this happens.
Do you need a bag for that? For the poop? You alright? They're over there. They're in that thing. You gotta pick it up. No, I'm not. It's a fine. I'm not. You mind your own and pick up your dog. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna call the manager. They will. I've already talked to them. They will. They don't care about over there. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You feel like a big. You feel like a big dick now, or you are. Why am I a big dick? Because you are. Why am I a big dick? Because you're mine. Because you don't pick up your dog poop. No. Because you don't mind your own business. It is my business. No, I live here. It? I live here. So what? I live here. So what? It, it's it's in your lease. You have to pick up your dog. So what? So pick it up. So what? So pick it up. So what? You're nuts. You're nuts, and so is your friend. She needs a good psychiatrist. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, I'm the psychiatrist right now. Yeah, and you're a gardener too, right? Yeah, I am. So what? No, you're not. Don't they go garden somewhere? Fuck you. Whatever. Why don't you go take a run, leave some weight, you fat. You don't want you to huh? I said you pick up your dog. I'm not picking up your dog. So much. Huh? Oh, right, well, I'll leave it on your door for you. Yeah, you do that. We'll you get some yeah, for what? What am I going to get in 12 or 4? Nah, it's too late for that. I'm sorry, but you should be cleaning up after your dogs, you know? It's, uh, a bit... Uh, there's nothing more to it. If your dog takes a crap when you're out on a walk, you should be picking up after it. It's one of the things that you signed up for when you got a dog. If you're going out walks on public property or on footpaths or a footway, you pick up after the mess they leave behind. It is literally the law. You can get in a lot of trouble depending on where you are. Heck, even a massive fine. It's just one of those things in life. If you've got a dog, clean up after them. They aren't able to do it themselves, so you need to do it for them. Like, uh, it's that simple. There's nothing more to it. So here we have someone who gets cut off by the guy who's recording on the camera. And a little bit later when they've all parked up and they're going into the restaurant, this lady decides to have a bit of a road rage at, her, at them as well as to say that I could have shot you and various other things. that you cut off in the big silver truck over there with my nephews in the car well, that, you could, have, that you could have killed. You didn't have a turn signal on the middle girl. You did not have a, a turn signal. And you, you could get killed to. doing that by road rage. Um, I could have shot you in your face because I carry a concealed weapon. Why? So I could have shot you That's in your face. That's a threat, though. And I didn't talk about that why. Well, I, said, that, I, I just could didn't... have. I'm not threatening you. Yeah, and we saw I your face in the back and you were riding around. We have to slam on our brakes. And your point would be what? Your point would be what? Um, you would to show you to be a better driver. And your point would be what? We've been driving for okay, like thank 30 you million for years. This speech, but, but either way, you need get... to watch what you're doing because if I catch you on the street doing that again, I will hurt you. So where That's are you from? Where are you from? Definitely not. That's thank a threat. You. Bye. Go back. <laughs> Look, I get it. It's frustrating when people cut you off like that, when they don't use their indicators to actually signal where they're going on the road and cut you off in order to cause a turn and various other reasons like that. And yes, that can cause crashes if your reaction speed isn't fast enough to deal with it, but and it could lead to injuries. The likelihood of it leaving, leading to a death is very minimal unless you're going way over the speed limit or it's a weird highway cut. But okay, I get it, you're frustrated, but this is not how you handle things. You don't go in and chase after them, go off at them and then say that I could have shot them. That's, that's not how you do things. Okay, you can be upset at them, you can even tell them, hey, 
Don't do that. Use your indicator. Signal where you're going because you could have caused a crash. Cool. But you don't ever say you could have shot them. It's not how you handle these things. It only leads to you getting in trouble. So these people decided to park in a disabled car parking spot in a very empty car parking lot. They do have the sticker required to park there but the person who apparently owns that lot decided to call someone to tow their car away because they shouldn't be parking that lot apparently anyway an argument ensues Whistle stop probably getting that's very ignorant of them. I'm sorry. Whistle stop probably getting that's very sorry. I don't give two f anymore. Every day I deal with this. This is my one. It's a disabled spot. She's the handicapped. It's a disabled spot. I did not. That was a dog. Suck it up. Get 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 Well, that's a bit of a doozy, that one. Wow. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to really think about this one. So, okay, the best way I think about this one is that okay, this is probably a parking lot that is owned by that lady there and that she tends to be that type of person that if you park there she's going to immediately get someone to come and tow you away regardless of what you're doing because it's a car park that shouldn't be used by anyone I'm assuming at this point in time because there's no active businesses there or something but it's also a bit of a wild thing to get someone who's in a disabled car park who's got a disabled sticker because you're now just getting rid of one of the a vital piece of transport and we can see why because the older lady who clearly goes with him is got a walking chair to be able to walk because she's old it's like I personally wouldn't have caught a vehicle sitting in a disabled car park spot with a disabled sticker to be towed away personally but he's also in every right to do so i don't know this one i have mixed feelings on here we have a karen who was possibly speeding through the neighborhood and when one of the people who was on the side of the road just screams at them through their car saying to slow down this karen decides to get out and have a confrontation with him you've been over here two days do not what, you, come to my work, car you're working like, over here yes this i is do unlicensed business is what this is yes i work thank over you, here thank you for telling me that first this of is all business. first of all do not Yes, my name is Nicole No, Overton. I'm looking at Serenity Catering because that is an this unlicensed is my name. business. Unlicensed. Excuse me. You can talk to me in a respectful get, way. Get out of here. No, do, do not, not tell me to get out of here. 25 miles an hour. Do not tell me to get out of here. First of all, I'm an adult like you are. I taught in the school system. My name is Nicole Overton. You know what? You should know. You can know. talk to me. You, know you can talk to me in a respectful way. You can approach me in a respectful way. What goes on between him and you ripping and that, across What goes on between him and what here. happened You're over here? You're going to have a problem with that. You understand? And you know what? You could have came to me like an adult. I you was trying to, to tell you to slow like down. Adult. You're the one that rolled down you your window and got out of the car and started to I didn't hear today. what you said. I did not hear what you said. When with I'm coming across up, like this, you really up, need to understand what I said up, to my kid over here? You know what? I don't know what issue y'all might have with him. Don't tell me to get out of here. Get out of here. Hold up. You got the right one now. I will be back over there. 25 miles per hour. Is that how far she was going or is that the speed limit of the neighborhood? Because 
to a rough conversion, that's around 40 kilometers, which that's the average for a school zone and school time. But usually most streets and places in Australia that is an unmarked speed zone in like cities and all that, usually the de default speed limit is around 50 k's per hour, which converts to roughly 31 miles. That's like the bare minimum in most cases, unless it's a school zone or unless specifically specified like car parking lots where it's 10 k's. I right. Very interesting. Also, that's so not the way to handle when someone calls you out for speed and you get out of the car and start screaming at them like a maniac. Just move on with your life and slow down a, bit, a little bit next time. Like, it's not that hard. So this guy's got a massive big buff truck and he's parked in a parking space that seems to be perfectly fine and right now he's letting his car run because his daughter is in the back of the car sleeping and rather than wake the daughter up and have to deal with whatever mess that that causes, they've just left the get car going because the aircon's going to be running and she can be perfectly fine inside the car while one of the parents go in and do what they need to do and what they're here for. Meanwhile we have this Karen here is in one of the other cars who comes in to go on a rampage about them doing that. Nobody here, and you come up here with your gas guzzling piece of shit, and the exhaust is spewing everywhere, and you're sitting there in front of my daughter. Hey, get out. Get out. Cheryl. Now. You better step back. Cheryl. Now. Cheryl. Cheryl, don't. You better step back. Don't even touch me. We're waiting for you. Don't even touch me, okay? Step back. I didn't touch you. I'm just asking you to be pleasant and courteous, and you guys aren't willing to. That's all I backed up. For. I backed up. Where's your exhaust pipe? The wind is blowing in this direction. There will be windows. Why is the god car on? Because my daughter is in here and I get the air. Why are your own windows down? What's the matter with you? You got to make that much pollution? Is it your right to make that much pollution with this god? Anyway, and then you got to sit in a parking lot. You got to sit in a parking lot with the car going. And you're laughing because you're mindless and you're ignorant because you have no care about anybody else but yourself. What do you do for a living? Marketing. What do you do? What do you do? Marketing. What do you marketing. do? Marketing. There you go. And you need this vehicle for your marketing, don't you? Oh, I also have a farm. But uh -huh. that's okay. You I have need horses. This vehicle for your marketing. It's what are you? Irresponsible. And I'm irresponsible. Sick of that. I'm okay. sick of that. Okay. People then like you, you. mindless. Ignorant, irresponsible, and inconsiderate. Okay. And you got two kids, and now you're going to train them to be the same way. Not it's ridiculous and fat and obnoxious and ugly. And if she's not in a parking spot, she's complaining about the exhaust of the drugs. Cheryl? You know what? You're so important that you can. And I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. That's all you can show us. Okay? Obviously, you're not educated. Obviously, it's okay to tell her anything. Obviously, unable to just answer a simple request from another human being. Cheryl. Please turn off the car so I don't have to breathe the exhaust. That's all that's happening here. You. If you've watched any of my videos from a few months ago, you probably already are very aware how much I have a heavy disdain towards these big massive vehicles, if you don't have a genuine reason for having them. Because a lot of people like just having them because they're big vehicles for some reason. But pushing all that aside, this guy has a genuine reason to keep his car running. His daughter is currently asleep, and we all know with young kids, if you wake them up, they're going to crack the shites. They're going to be the most pissiest person you ever have seen if you wake them up in the middle of their beauty sleep. So, in this situation here, the parents thought it'd be the bright idea to leave the car running so the aircon was still running for their child that's in the back. Now, it apparently was suggested they could have wind the windows down, but no, that doesn't really help in most situations. Yeah, you can wind the windows down, but it's still going to get semi-hot in the vehicle in the first place because it's still pretty closed off. Windows work for keeping a, pla a vehicle cool when you're moving because there's wind pushing cold air in there. It doesn't work anywhere near as well when you're s idle. Again, I can understand why the windows weren't put down. They had the aircon on to keep the kid cool while they whilst one of them did what they needed to do. All in all, yes, I probably wouldn't approve of idling in something that consumes fuel like it's no tomorrow in a car parking lot, but at the same time, I can understand why. So, Karen, shut the f up and go home. Here we have a guy trying to get to access to the public shoreline by going through someone else's property, and this interesting confrontation happens. I'd be happy to. 
This is your property that says public shoreline right there? This is all my property. So where's the Ten public feet. where's the public access? Take it up with the town. What's that sign say? The sign says there's public access, yeah, dude. Get off my property. Get off my property. Let now. the cops come and tell me what's going on. You're 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 lying to me, bro. It says shoreline public access right there. On a sign. You're lucky I'm not going. You're not gonna get what? off my property. Now. Call the cops. I'm going to tell him I was looking for the public shoreline yeah, I, access I, that's on that sign right there. You, and go ahead. Be my guest. Go ahead, Why then. Why don't you call the town council? Get off my property. You have call the cops. Of access there. Call that's the it. cops. You see where the I was confused is? where the sign and shows me where's you, my access. Property's there. Get off it. There's access down there. There's more property down at the other end. There's another sign that's down here. And I'm sorry, because that there. sign's misleading because it says shoreline it's public not access. It's access. It's for viewing. It's for, viewing? for viewing? What does access, access mean? To view it? Yes. No, it means to access it, dude. Don't call me dude. Dude. Get what off are you going to do about property. it? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Get call the here. cops, bro. It says shoreline public access. What do those words mean? Look at the shoreline? The police can come and explain it to me. I don't understand. They're not going to fucking arrest me for it. Yeah, they so. will for trespassing after really? I told you to get off. Even after I said I don't understand that sign. And now. I explained it to you. I don't even know who you are. I'm the landowner. That's what you're saying. How do I f that? It says public access right there, dude. You could just be some rich dickhead who wants to f me. I am a rich dickhead. Yes, you and are. I am f yes, you are. get off I my f property, jackass. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. It's going to be on the internet. You're going to look like such a douche. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's on video, bro. Go ahead. Go get ahead. off my property and trespass it. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Wow, this is cool. I'm getting this all on tape. Call the cops, dude. What are you going to do? You're going to fight me? You're going to physically remove me from your property? Oh, I would. I know. I can I tell you want to. to. I can you, tell you, you want would, to. You absolutely would. Yeah, this is great. This is so cool that I like caught you saying all this stuff on camera. Yeah, it's so cool. You're, it is. you're a real a it is for me. You're what's an your asshole, name? dude. What's your name? I'm not Come telling on, tell you my me name. what your name is. Why? Because I'm asking you, you're on my property, you're trespassing, and I've asked fuck, you nicely dude. so many times, and now you're cursing at me. So please get off my property. I'm trying to figure out where the public access is that's feet, on that sign. Ten feet over there is public access. Really? Right down. If you can get down through those things. That's what's weird that's about what, it, because it says public access, but I can't get down there. So I'm right. looking for the public access. Then call the town. I'm not going to call the call town. Call Sean. He's the town council president. Okay, I better get on the phone and call Sean. No, you better just get off my property is what I'm asking you to. I don't want to see you taking pictures and walking around here. Well, too bad. What do you mean, too bad? Too You're bad. trespassing on my property. Dude, go sit back on your porch. What do you, you, so. Get off my land. That's what I'm asking you. Nicely. If it's recorded, tell the jackass to get off property. He should respect private property. It even says a sign, private property. Why don't you film that one? Right there. I already filmed it, dude. Good. Now get out of here. Oh, yeah. You're a real piece of work. What? You're a real You're going to be hearing work. about this. It's going to be awesome. Dude. Great. Now get off my property. Or what? How do I know this is your property? It says Shoreline Public Access. There's a sign right there that says Shoreline Public Access. When the police show up, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I was looking. This sign says Shoreline Public Access. They're going to arrest me for that? After I've asked you five times to get off the I property, I don't know that yes. you're the property owner. I'm telling you, I am. That's but I don't know that. Know. How do I know that? This is public access, dude. Yeah. Yeah. One twenty-six. Send the cop over here, please. There's a guy trespassing on my property, and he won't leave. He's taking videos, and he's being very obnoxious and using swear words. <laughs> He'll be here. Cool. I'll be here. Yeah. Stand over on my private property. I will. So what seems to be happening here is that the actual route down to the shoreline that's for public access is apparently overgrown, meaning you can't actually use the public access to get down there. And so this guy thought it'd be the brightest idea was to move over someone else's lawn, which isn't fenced off. And I can see why some people might not assume too much about that because it's not a fenced off yard. It's just one massive open grassy area with a few chairs and tables and bits and pieces like that. But at the same time, once the guy who supposedly owned this place comes out and says, hey, uh, could you get off my property? You're trespassing, blah, 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 blah. It's probably just better to move on with your day because clearly the actual public access 
root is completely overgrown, meaning you can't actually use it, so you should probably start annoying the city council about it to get that fixed. Not annoying an old guy who's trying to enjoy his retirement. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. So this guy was just throwing out his trash, organizing his trash, getting ready for it to be taken out by, you know, the bean guys and all those shenanigans. And the local neighborhood Karen shows up and's like, oh, I don't know you. It must mean you don't live here. And here's what happens next. You can't throw away your trash in our bins. Yes, I can. No, you yes, I can. Could you please leave me alone or I'll call the police. You're harassing me. Call you are harassing me. Call the Thank police. you very much. It's 911. Okay, I will. Got a racist lady here. <laughs> That's yep. a big mistake on your part. Oh, okay. Call. Look. Throwing away the trash. You know, you're going to be instantly famous. Hi. You're going to be instantly famous. You know that, young lady? Come on. Here, let me close the door for you. See how much a gentleman I'm being for you? Florida, you're excused. What's Thank your you. name and what are you doing? You're excused. What's Thank your you. name and what are you doing? Please, here? you're excused, ma'am. You you're harassing here? me. You are harassing me. I will call the police call the if you police. don't leave. Okay? Thank police. you. What is your name? Martha, Show me your name? license. Do you live here? Show me your license. Show me yours. Show me yours and I'll show no. you mine. Wow, this is Florida, folks. Yeah. Here we go, Martha. We have to pay Zero extra beat. for people to come clean okay. out. And we pay extra too. All right. Why do you think? I, why do you don't think I live here? Because, because of the way I look. Because why? I, until two weeks ago. I was president of the homeowners association okay. and to my knowledge i know everybody who lives here okay that's the only so thing. why did you assume that i don't live here because you don't know me because there's only 42 buildings only 42 buildings you knew every single person in 42 buildings where do you live huh do you know every single person in 42 buildings ma'am thank you very much i rest my case do me a favor Enjoy the rest of your day. Stop with the fake laugh and just go. All right. It's not a fake laugh. I think it's Enjoy really your day. Funny. And I'm giving you 10 seconds to make your decision or I'm going to call the police and I'm going to go full Random thing. So I ask you, please, I'm asking you to listen to your friend because she's making the right decision, ma'am. I don't want any problems. I was throwing away my trash and I'm going on about my day. She turned around, I have it all on video. She turned around and said, where do you live? And blocked me until I wanted to produce ID. This is America. I don't need to prove that I live here to you. Who are you? I'll be more than happy to come back. We'll come back and talk to you later and things like that. But I really seriously need to go. Okay, thank you. Can you please ensure that your friend is not obstructing the highway so I can be on my way? Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm kind of agreeing with that guy. So what you're telling me is that you know every single person in all 42 different houses in that neighborhood. I would probably say that a good chunk of them are probably retired elderly couples, but there would probably be some families hiding amongst in them. What, do you know all their family? You know their kids? You know like all the people that are in that house? Like, it, it's a bit silly to like, oh, I don't know you, therefore it mustn't mean you live here because you know, I know everybody in this neighborhood. Yeah, I'm assuming that you either don't and you're just lying out of your mouth or you do and the entire neighborhood believes you're a piece of crap. It really just be one of those two things. And either way, if he's not doing anything that's actually, if, he, if he's not doing any form of vandalism, he's just throwing stuff in the garbage. Like, 
Why do we need to care about where he actually lives? Yeah, it's annoying to have someone else throw garbage that into a bin that isn't theirs. But being this overly intrusive about them is like, oh my god, you don't live here. Tell me where you live. What's your ID? It's just so unnecessary and stupid. Hey, we have the neighborhood Karen who's going up to someone's house because their kids are being kids, screaming and being very loud throughout the day, and she decides to go racist when she doesn't get what she wants. Somebody here. Anybody? Do you talk to somebody? Yeah, is that your child screaming? Yes. Uh, well, it's really loud in our neighborhood. I lived here for 30 years, and he said you guys came in. It's really loud, okay? So. Uh, is it in the daytime? It doesn't matter. I've been see, all day. I've been hearing that screaming, okay? Okay. Yeah. It's my child, and she's gonna get screaming. Yeah. Well, yeah. go back to your country. How about well, that? Oh, boy. Yeah. What's my, what's, my, what's my country? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what's my country. You're not property. Why is that always the go-to line? It's like, well, go back to your country then. It's like, well, what the hell does that make sense in most regards? Um, a good chunk of people who are in these clips being told that statement were born in America. So it's just like, go back to your country. I'm already in my country. What in the world do you want about? <laughs> I don't get why that's the go-to thing that a lot of people say towards someone if they don't get what they want. Like, it's stupid. And also, kids are just going to be kids. They're loud, obnoxious, and annoying. It's what kids are. You, you've had experiences as kids, right? Right? You, you're totally not a, a an elderly person who doesn't have any kids whatsoever. You've totally had them before. Come on. Here we have a racist Karen who's being confronted for being racist and when it turns out that she's been confronted for being racist she attempts to play the victim and then calls the police. This person accosted me, I'm calling the police! I'm calling yeah. the police! This woman just hit me, everybody! This woman just accosted me! I can't believe you! I just, I know, you guys are so violent! You Africans are so violent! Silence. Keep it going, keep it going. You're an African, right? I'm trying to give a description. Why are you so offended by the fact that you're an African? You called me You're an African. So okay? an African is a You're trying to put words in my mouth. You okay. called me Police. Hi, I was just accosted. A woman just accosted me. She violently attacked me. This woman me is a Karen. She called this me the N-word. She, she called me the N word. She's, she's not wearing a mask. She's not keeping six feet away from me. And she f attacked me from behind. She called me the N word. She called me the N word. Called me a black African. Told me to go back to Africa. Told me to go back to Africa. That she was gonna give me a flight to Africa. You were gonna give me the cheapest flight to Africa because you're Mexican. Because you actually own this place, right? Yeah. You're ignorant as big going. I'm super cognizant. Really, you're cognizant? What do African Americans have to get here? Black lives. Black lives. I'm a disease. You're the virus. You're the virus. Okay. Okay. Lord Jesus, name? help you. What's your name? Who will tell you my name? What's your name for the police? Yes, you need some help. I got the six, number 60 life. She's the one calling for help. I mean, I'm not gonna. I, I'm, I'm getting her on video so that I can say this is an example. Uh, I need, I need, I need, um, yes, I need a paramedic. I need an ambulance. I am. Um, I'm being, my, my environment has been harmed by this African black person. Yes, I have, I'm, I have been, I have been harmed by the environment that this African has created. This African, black lies, black lies, black lies. My emergency is that I was just attacked by an African black person. She just attacked me from behind. She attacked you, you are not good. I'm on the, the bike, the bike path. I'm on the bike path. This woman just keeps following me. She did not keep six feet away from me. I'm on- I'm, I'm going back. She, I mean, by the time the cops get here, it won't matter. I'm okay. Thank you. I
Honey, I don't think accost is the word you're looking for in this situation, especially if you're trying to claim assault. Because those of you who don't know, accosted is just simply the act of boldly talking to someone or aggressively approaching and addressing someone. That That's all it is. And she also goes on to add, that like, oh my god, she hit me. She hit me. She accosted and hit me. It's like, those are two different things. It's assault you're looking for here, honey. You're too busy caught up trying to keep your lie together that you forgot you're not even using the correct word for the lie. <laughs> wow. And then I just love the additional. It's like, black lives matter, black lives matter, black lives, black lives. Just, just like, what in the world are you going? Are you just parroting random crap that you think might offend this person? Like, what are you going on about it? Like, genuinely. Like, you just seem to keep reversing, trying to call on the phone. It's like, she assaulted me. It's like, you do realize that when they do know, find out that this is a false report that you could get in a lot of crap for it. It's, it's not the thing that doesn't happen. You should be more aware and maybe uh, take responsibility for your actions for once in your life. I don't know. Here we have a couple checking into a hotel, finding out they need to provide some form of ID as well as make some form of deposit in case anything goes wrong. And they decide to refuse to do so and decide to cause a bunch of drama instead. All because she didn't want to provide any form of ID and pay the deposit. He is just doing his job. <laughs> She didn't like the answer to her questions. That's the typical Karen playbook right there. I mean, if we had a book that told us everything a Karen would do in any form of given confrontation, this would be one of those things right here. Get angry, scream at the person, and walk away when you've lost instead of accepting defeat. Hmm, interesting. Sounds about right. And also, I... No duh, they're gonna want some form of ID because they wanna know exactly who you are because, you know, A, you would have booked the hotel underneath at least your name or your partner's name or maybe someone else's name and they want to know that, hey, it's the person who did the actual reservation is coming to the hotel. B, they want you to make some form of deposit. It's, like, it's just basically a little bit of a safety thing in case you do cause some massive damage in the room that you're staying in, they have some form of backup. Nine times out of ten, this money will be given back to you at the end of your stay because, you know, you won't do anything stupid, right? Kevin going for the manager because apparently these workers are not being professional enough towards him. Please, and I'm asking nice. <laughs> I just want to speak with the manager, please. I would like to speak with the store manager, please. The assistant store manager, please. Could you call him for me, please? I'm in Pickney Wiggly Holland Avenue. Actually, very nice to speak with the manager, but they won't let me speak with one. I want to speak with the manager, please. I'm saying it nice. I'm not cursing, I'm not being belligerent. I'm just asking nice nicely. Come on, please. Because it shouldn't even be this. You should, I'm paying my money, I should get what I want. Period. Well, why I gotta go through all this trauma to get it? Okay, I want to speak with the manager, please. Again, please. What's your name? Sherry. Sherry, okay. 
When I watch this clip, I see a guy who is just being very aggressive towards a batch of workers trying to get their manager or someone along those lines. And the workers are just like, we don't give a damn about what you think here. We told you where our manager is, the, well, the manager that's currently in store. We want to continue to do our work. Like, <laughs> like I don't know why I said, like, all I want to do is talk to the manager. You're just not giving me what I want. I'm the customer here. I'm paying. I want what I want. It's like, okay. They pointed out where the manager is if you want to go talk to them. Like, okay, yeah, supposedly the employees could probably go grab the manager's attention themselves in reality. That's what they should be doing in this situation. But at the same time, when it's a customer like this guy who's just been a bit of an annoyance, like, yeah, I can see why what's happening is happening. Still a bit funny, though. Here we have a worker having a deal with an asshole of a co-worker who was annoying him for sitting down, taking his break. Here come people a mother. Hey, you you need to need to watch your mouth, bro. Watch your mouth and learn respect. Okay, I, I got, heard you the first 27 Get, get on my face, bro. What's wrong? Look, I got you on tape. Good. Disrespectful. Good. Send it to the fucking office. Disrespectful, bro. I'm not, I'm not here. Learn how to speak to people. I'm 30 years of age. I'm a grown man. I'm not your child. You, Don't come here. I tell me, I'm sitting on the fucking lounge. What's wrong with you? Shut up. I'll be, shut, shut up. up. Don't talk to me like that, bro. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not do? your kid. Learn to respect me. I'm a okay. grown man. I'm 30 okay. years of age. Then I've been what? shoveling, raking shit. Watch your mouth, bro. Right now. Watch your mouth. Learn some respect. You don't care. Ain't nobody acting. I've been raking, shoveling, and doing shit. I took a break and he been sitting down. No and guy. you come in here talking like I'm your kid. I'm not your kid, bro. No Don't curse at me. Tell me I'm a stupid motherfucker. I got you on tape. Watch your mouth, bro. Odd. I'm, I'm not 100% sure of what label laws America has, but I'm going to guarantee that's nowhere near as strict as what we have over here in Australia. If your manager tries to do this to us in Australia, you can effectively have the book thrown at them for interrupting your, your given break time, your legally owed break time. Which is hilarious because I've seen it happen. I've seen one of the major companies get so far up one guy's ass because he decided to try and annoy someone whilst they're on their break. It's just like, you don't do that. Unfortunately, I don't think, as I said before, the labor laws in America ain't anywhere near as strict as what we have here in Australia. So I'm guessing they can just get away with doing like this, but it is what it is. We have a Karen looking at a very specific section in the boys' clothes section in Target complaining about some form of gender a gender agenda being pushed. Ma'am, where's the boys' section? Right there. All this, this is right here. All this is here. the boys' section? Yes. Wow. Wow. Is this the boys' section too? Yes. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. This is the boys' section. Oh, hey, we got a boy shirt. Hold on. This is the boy section. We're in the boy section. Ma'am, is this? You got to be kidding me. Is this the boy section too? That is for boys. <gasps> now, if this ain't pushing the agenda, I don't know what is. This is sick. Target, do better. Yes, we're at Target. Look at this. So you can look like your sister. Hmm. Isn't that something? Not gonna lie to you, uh, I don't really see anything wrong with a majority of these clothes. Like, oh no, it's a pink shirt and pink shorts. Oh my god, game ending. It's a girly color. No, it's not. Who cares what color your kids choose to wear? Like, genuinely speaking. Like, I... Uh, <laughs> Like, I'm just sitting here going like, okay, uh, so it's a pink shirt. That's the end of the world and pushing agenda. Why? Oh no, the designs that are used on some of the boys' clothes are similar to the designs used on the girls' dresses. Oh, it's almost like it's a very common thing that, let's say, twins or siblings that are very close in age like to wear matching clothes on on occasion. Oh no, world ending. Oh, it's a shark with a few flowers and some rainbows. Okay, maybe that's a little bit... In the middle, that isn't quite as manly as people want to be. But, like, again, who cares? Like, genuinely speaking, 
Who cares? It's not the end of the world. It's not like they're trying to push bras on the boys for, or some crap like that. It's literally just shirts with some pastel colors, bit of rainbow here, little bit of flowers there, just to, for those people who just prefer those type of clothes. Like, okay, cool. Only girls are allowed to wear pastel colors, apparently. You're not allowed to have slight pinks and some nice gray, some nice greens and the purples and the pinks and all. Like, what the? Well, who cares? Genuinely speaking, that's not the like. This is worse than the person who complained about rainbows being on your kids' clothes a month or two ago. Like, what? In this first clip, we've got a racist Kevin at Starbucks. Come here. You hear me? He just caught her. Bro, I've never, ever, ever witnessed nothing like this. Excuse me, ma'am. You're the one that we're helping you. Here's your coffee, sir. Have you guys been in support here? No. Mm-mm. Were you getting away She, um, was trying to find out what was in the pink drink. This is just one of those clips that just make me exceedingly disappointed in people. Like, why? What was the entire point of just being like that at all? In this next clip, we've got a Karen seemingly going on a goddamn tirade against this person at the register. So I got two thoughts with that one. First off, the everything that that camera was attempting to say was kind of funny just to watch her attempt to say it, like, suck my dick, like, what? But at the same time, I really do, I really, really feel bad for the person behind the counter, like, holy crap. That, that kind of thing ain't fun in any form of anything, like, I don't know how she was able to stand there just screaming her lungs out for so long without anyone in the crowd just stepping in going, all right, get out of here, lady. On this next clip, we put a Karen who finally got to speak to the manager. Oh my god, it's a miracle, isn't it? Are you the manager here? Go away. Are you the manager here? Yeah, I am the manager What's here. What's your name? Fuck you? Yeah. Can you spell it for me? Can you go away? May I please have your name? Can you go away? May I please have your name? Who the fuck are you? Why are you harassing us? Why are you harassing us? I'm not us? harassing you. You're the one with the phone on my face. Yeah, because you're harassing me. I'm literally I asking your name. You. I'm just asking your name. You won't get my I'm name. I'm just asking your name. I'm just asking your name. Thank you. So what's your name? 
I please have your name? May I please have your name? Why can't I have your name? May I please 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 have your name? He's not giving me his name. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Mm. He said his name is Fuck You. Mm. Okay. I think we're done here. No, I'm still waiting for his name. Mm, May I please be, have your name? We might, hear, we might be here a while. Also, saying hello to someone is not considered harassment. This, what you're doing right now is also harassment. That's why I'm filming it. You're more than welcome to. I'm literally just asking your name. Yeah, and I don't want to give it to you and you keep harassing me. May I please have your name? No, you cannot. May I please have your name? You see, that's harassment. Well, that's and the that's same. And that's why I'm filming it. And that is the and same that's thing. that's why I told my employees to do when you're harassing them. I'm honestly really curious on what actually happened before this and led to this point. Like, what's the context of this entire situation? Because what I see from this clip, yes, it's annoying to have this person acting like a child about getting your name, but at the same time, what's happened? Here we've got a Karen who wants to have her cake and eat it too. And by cake, I mean biscuits. And by eat it too, she wants it fresh and does not want to wait the 30 minutes for them to be cooked fresh. Oh, y'all think everything is funny right now? Who's the manager here? Where the African lady got on the phone being smart and nasty? Where she at? I told you what I wanted. Did I ask something strange? Cause I said I want a fresh biscuit. You know, these customer service, I work too. And I don't be rude to my customers. I don't close the windows on my customers. I serve the customers to all the right what they give me back. She got a fresh biscuit. All I asked for fresh biscuit. I said, is the food fresh? All I asked for was fresh food. And I committed a crime. Then where's she at? She get on the mic, but she don't show her face. Is she the manager? Yep. Where's she at? Tell her, come on over here, talk to me. She was being nasty and rude on the mic. Cause I want to see what corporate got to say about her, which they don't care because ain't nobody want to work these days. Okay. Thank you. I'm at the KFC. I said, y'all got fresh biscuits. She said, you want to wait 30 minutes. And I was like, 30 minutes for a biscuit? She said, I said, when the last time y'all cooked the biscuit? She said, oh, 10 minutes ago. And I asked fresh chicken, because, you know, I ain't been here in a while. Can I get honey and barbecue sauce? I just got off of work myself. But this is the KFC on Richmond Highway. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> Look, I'm sorry, man, but uh, if you want fresh fast food, then it's no longer fast food because, you know, they've got to cook it up. Unless you got lucky enough to be getting there and having your order the moment they're finishing up cooking a fresh batch of food to replace the ones that have been finished off, then you're going to have to wait whatever time it takes to cook another round of the food that you want to have fresh. Whether it be another 10 minutes, 20 minutes, sometimes for certain items, 30 minutes, and that just is what it is. If you want fresh food from a fast food restaurant, you got to be willing to wait the time and no longer it being a fast food restaurant because you want it fresh for damn sakes. Like it's one of those things where it's fast food because the foods are already cooked. It may not be the freshest of the fresh. You might get lucky and it's still kind of fresh, but it's fast food. 
that's what you pay for. If you want to have fresh, then it's no longer fast food. You're going to have to wait for the food to be cooked fresh for you. So y- you can't have your cake and eat it too. And also, like, it's like this is not how I would treat my customers. Yada 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 yada. You close the window after you finish talking to me, and that's wrong. You shouldn't do that. That's rude. It's like clearly. There was nothing else to say at that point in time, so they closed the window until there was a need to talk to you again, and that's simple as that. Like, what is... Jeez. Oh, yeah, you just finished work too? Oh, my God. Good on ya, I guess. Firstly, we've got a Karen who is overreacting slash feeling entitled about a dog or something in a situation. I have no idea about the context on this one. I've just seen this clip, and it's very interesting still. Folks do any fucking thing they want to do. And I'm so mad right now. That's not cool at all. She's him doing it too. The waitress him doing it ain't yep. saying that. Oh, you're bad. Yes. So I know that you're upset, though. So now since I said something, she comes over to me. She tell me she having a busy night. I don't want to be upset. So that means so. I got to get kicked out. So you tell me you're kicking me out? No, I'm So you're telling me you're kicking me out because I said something about the dog. There's nobody out here. Could take care. You get the tables. Did I ever say I was kicking you out? No. Who the fuck is you out there now? Don't fucking holler at me. Is that thing? Okay, I'm gonna get my manager and we are gonna have to ask you to leave. So, we're gonna have to escort you out. Yes. Like, I'm sorry. Did you hear that? I hope you know who I am. I hope y'all know. You don't have to hear because it's a job to you. But your people will hear. Okay, we're gonna have to ask you to leave because this is getting out of control. It's definitely getting out of control. Y'all got a fucking dog out of a cup. Okay, that was not in our control. But so now you tell me because I said something, I had to leave. I just spent $200. You said I gotta leave? Yes, because First of all, I'm waiting for my lift. My lift is right there. I only was waiting for my lift. But you're not being polite. So, like, we're not gonna have to say something to me. No, I asked. I love how this Karen wasn't going to get kicked out initially, but because of her continuous reaction to this entire situation, not just hearing out the worker at all, they just ended up kicking her anyway. It's clear we have an interesting situation unfolding whilst a person's leaving Walmart. I asked you to repeat for electronics. Michelle, can I get you up at the gym? Okay, but didn't I tell you you can ask the guys in the back if I, I hadn't made the purchase? Didn't I present you? Didn't I present you a receipt? Just now. What's your name? My name is Tammy. And you work here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you see the receipt? Are you nope. Gonna continue to stop me? Every time you try to go out the door with an electronics, I will. Okay. Yes, I, and I told you I had a receipt. receipt. So what's the deal? We are supposed to see the receipt. Okay. Well, are you detaining me? No, sir. I asked you okay, to see a you, receipt. Do you see it? Yes, I see. Can it I now. leave? Thank you. Can I'm also curious what you guys think is in the wrong for this one because I'm not entirely sure which side to be on here mainly because I believe that if you fail to show your receipt when you're leaving with electronics and they've gotten up you for that then it's kind of your fault that you're in the current situation that you are in as we can see at the end of the clip the person sees the receipt says yep okay I've seen your receipt and then the clip ends there so we don't know what exactly happens afterwards either and after a bit of searching I ended up finding the other clips so I uh, enjoy the follow-up when is Walmart gonna learn why are you doing this <laughs> I, I told you I had a receipt. I presented a receipt. Okay, and I'm going to tell her that you're stopping me for nothing. Come on. Thank you. Where, is she still coming? Oh, yeah, she's coming. Okay. I'll talk to your boss. I came here to purchase a goddamn TV. Is the manager here? Yes, I am. This lady, she has been very Hello? uncooperative, very rude, disrespectful to me. So I come out. I, I, I just came here to get some TVs. She asked me if I had a receipt. She said, do you have a receipt? I said, yes, I had a receipt. I said, here's my receipt. And then I proceeded to leave, and then she tries to stop me from leaving the store. You know, after watching that clip, I feel like I'm a little less confused, but also more confused because what happens at the end of this clip? Does she just, does the manager just say, okay, fair enough, off you go. What, what, what even happened here? <laughs> I'm still a little lost. Here we've got a Karen who's just been an overall annoyance towards the worker here for what seemingly has very minimal reason towards it. Here's a clip. You can't, you bust in the room, you didn't, you didn't knock, you didn't knock. It's, it's not against the law. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's evidence, that's what it's called. Exactly. Because I'm asking you to No, you're very rude, you're very rude. But I still want your manager. Okay, you can call tomorrow and we'll talk to you. Nope, I want, he, I'm pretty sure y'all have a cell phone. His cell phone you're number. Just on the phone. I want oh, corporate. I you so you're afraid. Call number. you're okay, afraid, afraid of us to talk to your Yeah, that's what it is. Do you want your refund? Because he told me to give it to you. We, we want the refund. We want the refund. Then I'm giving it to you. Then you can leave. 
but I still want to speak with your supervisor. You can call tomorrow. them tomorrow. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, then. then you won't be able to come back on property. I, I don't want to stay in here, honey. Can you just stop? No. I'm going to give you your refund back. Nope. You're going to be escorted off and trespassed off the property. That's I'm fine. not going to be anything. I'm not going to be anything. No, I want. No, I don't care about staying here. What I'm saying we, we haven't even been here ten the minutes. Shoot, they terrible. They terrible. My God. Here is your word of has been charged to your part. The proper thing to do was to put it back in my hand like I put it in yours. I'm sorry, but managers have days off too, you know. Unfortunately, it becomes one of those things where uh, if the manager's not available right now because they're not at work, because they're on their days off, then the manager's not available. Usually there would be some form of assistant manager or secondary manager, but then again, that might also depend on what time of day you've gotten in there on. If you're at the end of a shift, like you're at like six, seven in the after evening, most of the time the manager's already gone home for the night and you're gonna have to wait till the next day to talk to them. And no, the Customers are never going to give you their, their manager's personal phone number because that's stupid. You've just got to come in the next day and hope the manager's there. If not, then toughen up. It's just how it is. <laughs> So get self in control and not go off like that. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's going first class. Passengers, <laughs> you're not you're not a first class person. Music down, please. Yeah, it's not even playing now. I'm using my phone to to bloody film you because because you've been pathetic. Me pathetic? Yeah. You're being abusive. How am I being abusive? You're giving me lip. You're not. I'm not giving you lip. lip. You're in first class and you're. Who are you, my school teacher? Playing that loud music to disturb everyone. Your kind does not fit into first class. It's what, not what, is that, here. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? You need to show some respect. What you, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show respect. Look, I said Stop I'm sorry. Stop giving me all that. I've I'm, told you that before. <laughs> I listen, listen, Bob, I'm sorry. Turn down that music. But the, the, the music's not even playing. Well, it might not be playing now, but it was playing earlier. Yeah, it's and very like, disturbing. Yeah, and like I said, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, love. I'm sincerely sorry. I'm sincerely sorry for playing music in, in, in your first class air, breathing in your first class air. I am sorry, love, all right? That's, that's all I can so do. Facetious. I don't even know Just what that means. Quiet. Well, there you are. You don't even know what it means. <laughs> Have you had any education? <laughs> well, well, yeah. Well, no. Well, yeah. Well, no, I went to well, school. Yeah, well, no. Well, no, no. I what went to school. Uh, I went to college. <laughs> Where did you go to? Bloody Hogwarts. I don't need to explain anything to you in your thought. <laughs> so, I don't need to explain anything to you. Just keep that music down. All right. Sorry. <laughs> You gotta love, despite how much the guy tried to troll her, she kinda kept her cool. She was responding, but she kept cool that entire time. In this next clip, we've got a Karen trying to explain to the cops why she's in the right and everyone else is in the wrong, and then she does com something completely stupid. The time a Karen wanted to try me and my sister. You're dumping in the dumpster that doesn't belong to you. She's backing up. She backed into the first because she was out. yelling at me. And so, he, well, here's where I am. I didn't, I wasn't, it wasn't that I wouldn't let her out. I'm way back here. <laughs> She really had the nerves to slap my phone out of my hand right in front of the cop. No, I did not. Stop fucking lying. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. She couldn't resist it, could she? It's just like one of those Karen instincts. You've got to slap that phone out of their hands when you have the opportunity to, regardless of if you do it in front of a cop or not. In this next clip, we have a clip where it seems to be a big confrontation between many different parties. Okay, well, now, now what did he do? Oh. Trying to drive off. oh, he wasn't trying to drive off. He was trying to get some motherfucking breakfast. Thank you. Okay? Mind your no, I'm not minding my quiet. business. I'm trying to get some food. Now you mind your no. business. Quiet. No. Yeah. All right. So we're going. We're, we're, we're going. We're going viral at White Castle. Is that what we're doing right now? Now I got your back, man. You didn't try to. You didn't do no damage. He moved, well, he moved it. Did he break it? No. 
Here we have a Karen who's upset that there are kids making a racket inside of a fast food restaurant, so he, she decides to annoy the father and threatens to call the police on them for causing noise pollution. What? You should, you're, you're, you're sitting there talking about children? I am going to keep it up. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Go ahead, call him. Oh, call him. You're going to look dumb because this, this is a war star right now. I'm how dumb you are right now. You sound dumb telling my kids are making too much noise. Noise pollution. You sound, you sound ignorant. You sound like a fool. Recently for an event that I went to in like another part of Australia, I took like, a two hour fl flight down there. We had to deal with a loud crying baby for like the first portion of the flight and yes, it's frustrating, it's annoying, but it's one of those things where you only have to deal with it for that small period of time. Yes, it sucks when you have to deal with it, but imagine the parents who have to deal with that consistently. And we all know how kids are. Some kids will just continue to cry and make noise and they don't give an absolute damn what you do to try and stop them. They're going to continue to do it anyway because that's just what they do. It's what babies do. It's what kids do. They like making noise for some unexplainable reason because they just do. And sometimes you're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it. Here we have a person mind their own business rolling through, walking through a car park and she gets hit by a car riding through the car park and when the person stops and hops out of their car, instead of apologising for what they did, they start going off at the pedestrian for apparently getting herself ran over. I'm a person You're also walking. walking in an active You're a moving vehicle. The vehicle. You're in a moving you vehicle. Did, you did it on purpose. You're in a moving vehicle. You did it on purpose. You hit me in a car. So You're in a car. So I'm walking. Don't touch my phone. Then give me my phone. You don't have give me my phone back. We don't have the right I need to know me. One call. I need 911 call. Okay, I'll call no. him right now. Yeah, then you, you, no, you're touching me. Why are you touching me? Because you're in Why the are you touching me? I need I need the cops called, please. I no, she just hit me with her car. Now she's trying to leave. No, she I just don't. she just snatched my phone, grabbed it from me, pulled it away from me. Spot. She hit me with my leg. Exactly, that's not a parking spot. No, well, I that's don't. not a because she just hit me with her vehicle. And she I just hit me with her vehicle. She yeah. hit my leg. She, and she, she tried to leave. Because she was walking across the open garage and I was trying to go around her and she went like this. And oh no, car. I did not. Yeah. I did not do that. Yeah, why why would I want to get hit by a car? Why would I want to why would I pick my leg? Why would because I want to get hit by a vehicle? Ma'am, I was walking across and you just yes. hit me. And you didn't and, and I wanted to take my time. Because I wanted to take my time and cross and you hit you me with your vehicle. When there were cars coming in both directions. So you you're saying that purpose. you hit me with your vehicle on purpose. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. No, I did not. You just hit me on no. purpose. No. Margarita. This lady just hit me in the car with she hit me with her car. Yeah. And then she's she trying to leave. I was she snatched by. my phone right now and she because broke the snap off. Because you don't have the authorization. I don't care. Me. I have the see, authorization but, to send me wherever I'd like. Oh, but it's against no. to hit me with your car. No. You just hit me with your car and that's yeah. against yeah, the law. Yeah, but you went like this. Boom, I, I did, did, I did what? What did I do? You went what did I do? What did I do? I'm not going to show you on film. So, so she's just saying that I wanted to get hit by her car. That's what she's saying. Well, you were saying you were, you were having you need an attitude. No, I don't need a paramedic, but I need a I need a police officer because I need to file a police report. I need to file a police report. I'll call, I'm calling right now. From what I can look up with US law, pedestrians have the right of way in a car park, which is pretty much how it is over here in Australia. Effectively speaking, the pedestrian has the right of way when roaming through a car park. Yes, it can be frustrating and annoying whenever they are doing stupid things like walking down the middle of the car park or just go, like just doing silly things that's very annoying or when a car starts in reverse they just walk right behind them and not actually pay attention to the fact that the car wants to reverse and things along those lines but at the end of the day if a pedestrian's crossing the road in the car park and it turns out they're not moving fast enough to get out of your way before you get to them they still have the right of way and you should stop and wait you shouldn't try to go around them because then there's things like this happens where you accidentally hit them anyway it, it's just stupid it's like 
It's just common sense, man. Don't try and go around a pedestrian who's trying to cross the road. You're just going to cause more issues. Don't be stupid, stupid. Bad crime. What are you talking about? You better straighten up. What am I doing? I'm just sitting here on my phone. Why are you bothering me? Excuse me? What did you say? I'm just sitting here on my phone. No. I didn't say a word to you. You, you didn't have to. You're she just came over to me out of nowhere and said I'm an idiot for being on my phone. I have it all on video. I, she, she literally came over to me. I was watching a YouTube video and she said, what are you doing on your phone? You're going to go to jail. Why am I going to go to jail? I didn't even speak to you. I was listening to my headphones. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, that, that was just so strange. <laughs> It just seems like a lot of people just have no idea how to mind their own business. I mean, if you're just sitting there on your phone at a restaurant, just on your own, eating some food, watching a video, why, why, what's the point going up to that person and annoying them, call, just, just just being annoying? Regardless of what you end up saying, it's just so stupid. What a waste of your time and effort, but this old lady chose to do it in the Anyway, okay. <laughs> Why can you go up and then... No, I, did you just say motherfucker? No. What did you just say? I wasn't talking to you. You just said this motherfucker. I wasn't talking to you, was I? No. You just I, said... I wasn't talking to you. She just cussed, sir, and I have it on tape. I don't care. She just said this motherfucker... And I wasn't talking to him. She just said that. And I wasn't talking she, to him. It doesn't matter. You cussed in front of me. It's inappropriate, and I'm a I Christian. Does it matter, sweetheart? And but why you beat it to me? You know, I can... You, you know, just can said see. motherfucker. You know I can see. In Georgia, you don't need it. Raphael... Can we just, like, not annoy the shit out of retail workers or fast food re re workers? I understand that she just effectively referred to you as a motherfucker behind your back, and I understand why that's not fun. But just being annoying like that is... It's, it's just why? What's the point in that? Just move on with your day. You don't need to be a shithead about it. Like, it's... it's... uh... <laughs> That's exactly what the hell I wanted, honey. That's exactly what the hell I wanted. Which one, the number seven? Oh, I don't know. It's just a chicken sandwich. Could you give me a break, please? No, it's too much. I just want a chicken sandwich. That's all I want. Well, give up the nonsense one. Just give me a chicken sandwich. You got a nonsense one? Just give it a chicken sandwich. Don't make it so complicated, y'all. I just want a chicken sandwich. The cheapest one you got. Oh my god. <laughs> That's it? Oh my goodness, I think I got enough money for that. For those, is that enough? There you go, honey. For those, there you go. There you go. Have a nice day. You want a credit card too? Oh my god, here's five. What are you going to do with that? Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, dear. Thanks. You know, this is one of those type of people that are just fun because they, it's not like they're being abusive. They're just very, very loud. <laughs> they're just talking at the top of their lungs. They're not hurling any form of abuse. Like, th there was no abuse here. This was just someone talking loudly for some reason. And everyone in the background in the actual restaurant were just having a bit of fun with it. They were laughing along. They didn't care so much. It's just one of those nicer ones. <laughs> you got this one in Maine. And then you got this one from Connecticut, and neither one of them will back up. Hey. This is how stubborn people are. Let me tell you something. They are both acting like complete assholes and not letting people out. Almost caused an accident a while ago. You have a kid in the car. But you're both doing it. Why don't you back up? Be the bigger person. Why? She She's going to be ignorant, so why do you got to be ignorant too? Just back up, man. I'm going to back up. Let her be ignorant. You know what she just did? You know I know. Just did? I, I hear you, but... You, you know, guys are keeping did? people from backing out, though, man. Come on. I could have literally don't get a lot of. She don't know who she's talking to, and she's the, in the middle but, of the road. But you both look ridiculous right now. You understand that, right? You haven't looked. You haven't looked you have look one minute. People of Walmart. This is people of Walmart happening right here in front of me. That's a stupid ass thing right here. 
Did anyone else notice that little detail that hints at the true person who caused a lot of issues in the world? Ah yes, the lady, we see on her car, the first time we see the car, that there's a mirror panel missing. The entire section where there would usually be a side mirror is just completely gone. I wonder why is that? Maybe she's done shit like this before and has actually hit someone else's car. I wonder. In this first clip, we've got a Karen who didn't have a happy shop and therefore just shoved all of her shopping right towards the people at the registers over the counter, making an absolute mess and causing a massive scene. You know, I think this would be like 10 times funnier if it so happened that the Karen had already paid for all of this before she just shoved it all over the counter. Like, yeah, it sucks to clean all that up, but at the same time, she already paid for it, so who actually loses here? In this next clip, we seem to have a Karen who's extremely unhappy with the food they order and therefore are requesting their money back, in probably by far the worst way possible. This clip leaves me with uh, several questions, mainly because I just wonder, why is she wanting her money in the back, back in the first place? Was there something wrong with her food? Was there maybe some hair or the she got the wrong order? Like she asked for, let's say, something to be taken out of a burger and that tomato or that onion or whatever it is was actually put into the burger or the order was done slightly wrong. Whatever the reason is, I'm honestly curious on why the people at the registers just didn't give the money back or give another option sooner. I, I don't know the reality of what happened here, but this person was extremely unhappy and just kept demanding for their money back. And when they weren't getting it back, they decided to uh, up the levels to make sure that uh, they're probably not going to get their money back by just taking something random on the desk there and just throw it off to the side. And of course, they do it again a little later, which is just a question. Like, if you really want your money back, why are you destroying property of this retail? of this fast food restaurant. What's the point in doing that? It only makes it that you're probably going to have to pay something in the future, especially if they decide to press charges or you get caught up by the law for this type of thing. I don't know. And also, what's with the charges thing? Just repeating the same thing over and over and over again, expecting to get different results. Here we have a comedy show event being held in a neighborhood by the what I can gather from what was said in the clip. Uh, that might not be 100% correct either. Anyway, a Karen neighbor was not happy about the noise being created by this event, so she decides to take it upon herself to go out there and uh, knock the mic around, do some various other messy things over it. Do you know what it's like to 
towards me, drop dead of a heart attack. Well, you know what? You're not funny. This s isn't Whoa. funny. Become neighbors. This is not a. This is no, no, no. You cannot. This is not a commercial venue. Shut the f up. Go to hell. Hey, she's a comic. It's cool. It's like, oh, it's, uh, oh God. Oh. Yes, because stealing a microphone is going to work so well in your favor when there's a huge audience watching you do that exact same thing. It's almost like there's a very high chance that someone's recording in the crowd. Oh wait, someone did. Ah, well, that's a bit of a shame. Good thing uh, you didn't manage to get away with running away with the microphone because that probably would have been a bit of a issue for you depending on the microphone itself. And it looks like to be a wireless one, which those things tend to be two, three, four hundred dollars, you know, it only costs a bit of money and could potentially get you in a bit of trouble for stealing it, you know, don't worry about it, it's totally not going to be, not going to be a massive issue that was so not worth the time that you wasted de dealing with this. Here we got a loopy Karen who causes a bit of a scuffle with another customer and then calls over a fake imaginary worker and starts complaining to them even though there's no one there. You. Why can't I be out here? Why can't I be in Vacaville? Why can't I be out here? Excuse me. Hey, yeah. Here I am minding my own business. You bumped into my child. This person called me a f No, I did. Are you serious? Yeah, here I am minding my own business, and this person, she bumped into me, and she called me Why a f lying? Why would I say that in front she of my daughter? What's wrong with you? Who are you even talking to? You're not talking to anybody. What is wrong with you? Her. There it is. It's her. What is wrong with you? Are you kidding me right now? It's her. She she what? called me a You are you're you're not talking to anyone. There's no Excuse one listening me. to you. Excuse me. Look, look. She's harassing me. I'm not harassing. You said I shouldn't be here she's in Vacaville. Why did me. you say that? See? She's harassing me. I'm not harassing she you. She called me a She's lying. See? She is lying. She told me I should not be in Vacaville. She told me I should not Look, be here. She bumped into my daughter. I said, I'm here minding my own business. You are not and minding your business. She started taking photos of me. Why? I'm recording you because you told me, me I should not be here. She started taking photos of me. Why are you lying, I'm lady? I'm here minding my own business. I'm from UC Davis. And she bumped into me and started taking photos of me. Are you kidding See? me? See? Are you, See? why are you lying? She I think she may need some help. Don't know about you, but it seems a little bit uh, off that she's trying to complain to a worker that doesn't even exist. And I wouldn't be too surprised there may or may not have been another worker there before, uh, at the end of this clip with the other com the round of complaints. It's, yeah, very interesting to say the least. Just like, hello, excuse me, come over here. And then just start talking to a person and then you like, wait, hold on, they don't exist. What are you going on about? What? <laughs> Some people are just a little out of it. This first clip, we've got a truck driver who's at the office waiting to get his load unloaded. And then we have another employee from this office coming out to harass the truck driver. For what reason, we don't know. Here's a clip. What kind of stuff is this? I called the whole day. I've been calling the whole day. What door are you at? 72. Thank you. I'll bring it back. Excuse me, sir. Off my property. You touching me? Stop touching me. Out of my Stop door touching now. me. Stop touching I me. Need, you are. You touching me? See how you touching me? Leave my paper alone. Hey, 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 you touching my, my stuff? Office. You see? You see this? Stop touching my stuff. Stop touching my stuff. I'm not holding. Leave my key alone. Leave my key alone. Get out. You are not professional. I'm over here. Leave my premises now. Now, you are over I'm standing over here. You will not be unloaded here. Thank you. You see? I am not going to have him disrupting my whole work here. Period. But you're talking about him being professional. You also. I am, I, yes. I am very professional. 
I have never in my Guys, life done this. Come back to my window and handle your business, please. Don't touch you just you just touch me. Don't you just touch me. I need to report. I need to report. No, I need to report for that. I need a report. I need a report. All you want. Go I need a, look what you did to my paper. I don't care about the paper. I need a report, please. You will not be unloaded. I need a please. I need a police report. Matter of fact, let me call the police because you just. I think this goes without saying, but no matter how unprofessional someone's acting in a workplace, it doesn't give you a reason to put your hands on them in any way, shape or form. Unless they do so first and you're defending yourself, but by claiming they're being unprofessional and then trying to pull them out by grabbing them and pulling them along, you're just therefore being unprofessional yourself and you don't really win in that situation. Furthermore than that, it also gives them the ability to, well, charge you with assault if they really want to, considering they're recording it, it'd be very flipping petty, but it doesn't stop people from doing other things that are very petty. Next clip, we've got an old man that is seemingly grumpy that there's a concrete shop at the front of his house pouring concrete into what I assume what was a pothole before. Get off me lawn, you youngins. I, I don't get it. <laughs> the truck's not on the lawn. It's just on the side of the road. And clearly they're trying to fix the road of whatever damage is there. And this guy comes in with a hammer, starts banging along the truck. Like, first off, why are you doing that? That can get you in far more crap than just being upset at things. And then you just go and stomp in through the concrete. Bro, what is your problem here? In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's an Uber passenger and has an absolute need to complain about anything that occurs in that entire truck. Drive. Can you uh, do me a favor? Can you move the seat forward because it's it's hitting my knees at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hold on. It's very uncomfortable. Is that better? Sorry about that. Well, there's no point in saying sorry. It was already, you know, it was already pushing on my knees. But that's what most of you Uber drivers do anyway. I'm not trying to come off rude, but I, can you hold on? I didn't even put my seatbelt on. This, this right here is loose. This this almost poked me. Alright. Are you familiar with this area, sir? Yes, I am. It's too hot in here. Can can I lower this window or something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You like it really hot in here, man. It's like I'm in a, the Amazon. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You're not hot? You know, your seatbelt is really tight around my neck, man. It, it, it really is tight. Has anybody uh, else complained about this? No, no, ma'am. No, they yes. are not. Huh? Well, well, then take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. You showed up late. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make you as comfortable as possible here. Well, you're doing a bad job at it. Let me. Tell are you giving me an attitude, sir? No, ma'am, I'm not. All I have to do is report you to Uber, and so be it. You will be kicked off of this this app. Okay? This freaking seat is leaning on my knee. You have to have consideration for passengers when they get in your car. I want another Uber driver. Because all you're doing is running that lip of yours. And don't nobody want to hear what you got to say. Over there in the parking spot. I'm not going to get out in the middle here. All right. God. I think this Karen completely forgets that uh, one bad rating on an Uber driver isn't going to get them immediately kicked off of that, as well as Uber drivers have the ability to rate their passengers, so I have a funny feeling that it's more likely she's going to get kicked off if she continues to act like this in front of other Uber drivers. I get the seat probably should have been moved mostly forward initially, but it's something that may happen depending on if people were in the passenger seat beforehand, but the complaint about the seatbelt, you have the ability to slightly adjust it, it's meant to be tight for Christ's sakes, like good god. In his next slip, this Karen goes off of this random innocent stand buyer for people speeding down the street. Every idiot that drives through here because they're late, that this is a residential neighborhood. Okay, was that speeding? You don't have, I'm more than everybody that I can get to. Your window was slight open. But so was I that speeding? You. 
It doesn't matter if it's you or not. It's a guy public service announcement. So if I wasn't speeding, why are you yelling at me? I'm yelling at everybody. Why? They I didn't do nothing to you. The train's there. They think this is some kind of place where they can take their anger out and drive through here going 50 miles an hour. I'm not mad. to make up for not making it through the train when they're dumb, stupid drive one block down and get around the train. I'm not mad. Why are you oh, mad? I'm mad at all the stupid what? Did you wake I up in a bad mood? I know you. Well, I don't give a well, why are you cussing me? Why are you wake up in a bad I, mood? I didn't. I'm walking my dog all nice, and then I got retired losers spinning through here. And you know, you don't have permission to publish that, and I can sue you. I'm not publishing anything. Yeah, well, good. Keep it for yourself. What's your name, Karen? No. Mother Oh. It's called re person who paid property taxes, and I deserve to live in a neighborhood where people aren't rude. You got like slobber. You got spit on your mouth I and everything. Don't care. I don't like you people. You're Who? Losers. What people? Stupid people that cut through and speed through. But I wasn't speeding. Yeah, well, you are probably on your way. You had your foot down pretty good. I bet you if I didn't see anything, you're at your roll would have been to forty four. You know where I live. So. Go I mean, if I've ever heard of an amazing method to uh, get people to not speed is to scream at the people who weren't speeding in the first place. That is the fantastic way to do things. I've never seen a plan that would work so spectacularly. If you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Like, I, I don't get what's the point of doing that. Just a random person driving down the street, you're just going to scream at them for the other people speeding down that street. I'm sorry, but this guy wasn't speeding at the time you decided to annoy the hell out of him. Granted, I'm not sure why this guy decided to stick around after he found out what she was trying to stop him for and why he didn't just move along and not worry about it too much. Because I understand when you see someone screaming at you, you're kind of curious on what the hell's happening, so you're going to stop and look. But then beyond that, once you find out what she's really doing, wouldn't you just move on to that point? Because clearly, uh, it's not worth your time of day at all. <laughs> In sex, we've got another Karen complaining about people parking on their driveway. Get your dog. This is my car, yes. This is my car on our driveway. Oh, oh, then why can you guys do it then? This is hers. Yeah, and this is ours. Well, so what's your point? What's your point? You guys park all day there. What are you talking about? This is my driveway. Then why don't you go back there, partner, too? This is my side of the property. I don't have to move anywhere. Come on out. Yeah, the cop is coming out. Go. Yeah, they're going to tell you to move your car. This is her driveway. This is our driveway. What the hell is your problem? That's just like both hypocritical and also just like rules for you, but not for me. You have to park out on the road and you can't park in your driveway, but I can park on my driveway however much I like. In this next, we've got a semi-respectful Karen who approaching a guy about potential crimes. Is this your property? Hi, I'm asking you if this is your property. Why are you asking? Because well, it's private property. Because it's private property, so sir. So are you defacing private property or is this your building? You're free to express your opinion, no, you, but do. not on people's property. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Just respectfully. Sure. So we're just saying, absolutely, your signs and everything, and that's good. This is not. This is not the way to do it. Okay. It's private property. But if there, if I did live here and it was my property, this would be absolutely fine. Totally. If it. You and you don't it, know if I live here or if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's why we're asking. Oh really? Because yeah. you live here, right? You no, said so. Because we know the person who does live here. Oh. That's why. Okay, so then um, I suggest you call him or call the police, or because you're you accusing me to. of a crime, correct? What I'm asking you is why are you And I'm not this? answering you. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So you, your choices are to call the cops if you believe I'm calling a crime, and I will more than be happy to talk to him. Okay, thank you. What's your name again? I'm Lisa. Lisa, what's your last name? What is your name? What's your name? Well, I asked first, Lisa. Crime, what's your name, sir? Robert. What's your last name, sir? What is your I, I don't, I'm not answering, I'm not talking to you, you're talking to me, I'm asking you the questions. Well, we're not doing anything illegal. Neither am I. Um, actually, yes, you are. are actually. Really? Oh, okay, well then, call the cops. Thank you, we will do Lisa that. and Robert. Yeah. I'll be right here. Okay, thank you so Bye. Much.
I would honestly say that both are kind of a little bit in the wrong here because I mean the guy recording could have just simply said that yeah this is my house this is where I live I own this property and this probably would have concluded the entire thing but instead he decides to be very vague about it not directly say that he lives here to the Karen so it continues the entire fight for no good reason. I don't feel like this Karen's being inherently racist, just more concerned like, hey, I appreciate what you're doing, but hey, uh, is this your property? Because you're kind of defacing it if you're doing this. I don't know, it's very... I feel like the simplest way to deal with it is just say that, hey, I live here and we could have moved on with our day. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's being told off having a bad day at work and putting it on to our customers. It's funny when people have a bad day at work and then instead of just accepting, yep, I'm having a bad day, they decide to shove it onto everyone else around them, especially by uh, not letting certain people onto a plane just because they're having a bad day. I wonder if there's other reasons to that, but clearly there must be something very major they're doing wrong to have someone else at the workplace to come up and tell them to just walk away. In this next clip, we got a bunch of people who are upset that there are a bunch of kids playing basketball for basketball hoop on the grass, on the street too. Sir, sorry, it's not your property. It's not your property. It's not your property. This is not your property. It's not your property. It's not your property, sir. Yes, this is my art. It's not your property, sir. Leave it alone. This is not your property. We have, we have, we have. Leave it. Leave it. Let's make your wife. Let's make your wife. We're kids. We're kids. You are right. Yeah, and his wife. Are you happy, excited? Are you? I'm excited. We're gay together. We're gay yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. At least we have a happy marriage. You know? you know what? You know what? You know what? I want him to fuck me. Yeah. Yeah, fuck me. Yeah, fuck me. Fuck me. Yeah, you fuck me. Yeah, you fuck me. Fuck me. Yeah, you 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 my name is uh, Jacob, you know? My name is Jacob. None of, that's none of your business, ma'am. Oh, no. oh. oh my god! Such a big thing, buddy! Buddy, you did such a big thing! You did such a big thing! I'm so offended, buddy. I'm not going for this. Come on, gang. Come on, gang. That is so cool. Oh, my God. He's coming to our home. Oh, my God. I have a video. We have a camera. Pedophile. I'm not saying. What's your age? And why are you telling this bad word? I'm 14. Call the police. You want us to go home or do you want to stay? They're going to get yeah. We're staying. 
I thought we all grew to understand by now that arguing with kids about something that really doesn't mean too much in the grand scheme of things is really, really dumb and is a massive waste of time because they're just going to make you to look like a massive fool, especially in this situation here. The guy attempting to push over the basketball who failed a few times in a row and it's just like, that just made you look like an idiot, you dumb fuck. Like, come on. It's like one of those things. Oh no, they got a basketball hoop on the, sh on the grass near the footpath. End of work. World. They're playing basketball in the street. End of world. Someone's gonna die for it. I don't fucking know. I don't see why this is too massive of a problem. Like, good god. Things. In this next clip, we got a Karen who's loud enough to be understood. Program that the city pays. It is not illegal to yell here. Excuse me, ma'am. You are help when you are visiting the city. Would you please ask your family to correct that you have been fired? You have been asked very loudly about your family's contracts. You do not live off this salary. Good guy, with the understanding, I ask quietly that it is not illegal to be loud. Get the fuck out, lady. Fuck out. Get the 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 fuck out. Well, I mean, at least I can understand what the hell you're trying to go on about, but it still confuses me. Or oh, this contract that you're under, your family's contract you're under, there's no way you live with that salary or whatever the f Like, it genuinely perplexes me. What is her thought process on that entire thing? What, like, from what I can gather, what does it fucking matter to you on how much another person earns in a different job that is no way in relation to you? You're literally just a customer. And yes, it's not illegal to yell, it's very, very disrespectful. And then slamming your hands on the other people's property that is potentially illegal especially if you do end up causing some possible damage in this next clip we've got an unhappy karen at mcdonald's <laughs> and i'm not pub top bro and i'm not playing bro get the f away get the f away from me bro <laughs> like what get that shit off me bro this is karen bro i've never experienced one he videoed me, I don't even know what to do! That's what I'm saying! You're at McDonald's! But still, no, you pay! You have to get a percent! Oh god! No pay! I want to be a. My husband will beat the f you! Oh, tell him to! Karen, bro, I never experienced a Karen! I'm like, I'll go viral for. Gotta love her immediate reaction to be recording, just like start, oh my god, you're recording me, start sprinting him down, throw something at him when you're out in fucking public and he's recording you, it's literally the dumbest shit, it's like your brain cells of critical thinking flicked off right at the moment you saw someone's recording you, even though when someone's recording you, it's just like, they're catching you, do you think, like, if they put, they could just send this footage to the police and you'd be in shit, like, what? In this loop, we got a Karen who's a bit upset that their neighbors are finally doing something with their yard. That's good. I'm working really hard to clear this yard. Awesome. I yeah. want to see your plans. Okay. I want to see your plans. I don't care. You can tape me all you I'm want. Gonna. Good. Show me your plans because otherwise I, I will call the call police them. as call well. Them. You do have to show Call plans. Them. I don't have to show you, you shit. You do have to no, show me I plans. Of course you do. For of course what? you do. Because I'm mowing? Because you're not mowing. I'm not? You're clearing. Okay? You're dropping see things. you cutting any big trees? I do. Wait I do. Wait till mows this whole section and you can see everything. You're a real winner. You are. You, you are. On your own I will not. I want to have a conversation with you. I don't I want, want to, you to call the property have, owner. I don't I, even live here. Okay, well then I will go find out who does live here because as far as I'm concerned, you are, until you I'm can what? prove that you are where you're supposed to be. I can by do way whatever of a I marker, want on his property. By the way of a marker. Because you have my property, I know I have rights. Okay, I'll be For down there. For how much there. you can clear, I'll I go. know I have rights. I'm gonna clear all the way to the wall. I know I have rights. Yeah. Okay, well, and I want you to show me. I don't where have to show you, you nothing. Are. Yes, you do. You have to mark this, pal. <laughs> pal, you have to mark. You're this. a beauty. Are you from you the city? You are a beauty. Are you from the city? Are you from the city? No, I grew up here. Excellent. Good for you. Good for you. Okay. I want. I want you to show me. Where you have 
I don't have to show Sorry. you nothing. Yes, you do. I know the wall is the property. Though. How? You got to show that. Oh, pass. good. Awesome. <laughs> is this the police? How am I infringing upon anything? Because you're clearing everything. I don't have a need a permit for that. Who cleared all that? Yeah. To your stone Did wall. Did you hear me? I live here. You don't, there is no house He's here. He's going to live here. Okay? There's going to be a house here. A big one. Ooh, I'm so scared. Why are you trying to threaten me? Why are you trying to threaten me? There's no threatening. No, there's yes, gonna, you there's are. Gonna be there's yes, no you threatening. Are. Okay? You don't no, no. scare me, okay? I have a right to know what's happening on my head. We're cutting property. trees. Okay, how far are you going? Right to the stone wall. Right to the stone yep. wall? Yeah. Yep. So we can, you know, see everything. Yep. Karma will get you, big guy. Oh, no. Don't you worry. Okay, no, no. You threatening me? What? No, I'm not threatening I you. I'm property, simply please. making a statement. Beat it. Yeah. No. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Yeah. Or bug somebody else. I'm not bugging anybody. Wait till they build the I'm houses down below anybody. you. That's okay, because I have 16 acres too. I'll put my big houses right up next to your big houses. And I don't we'll care. Have, I don't live here. We'll have a bug. That's, that's my point, Cal. That's my point. You don't live here, so that's why you don't care. I do live here, and I've been working my ass off. Bye. You know, I have right. Sure you do, Karen. Problem, this isn't your yard. This isn't your land. So, uh, there's really nothing much you can particularly do about it. Oh, well. Here we watch from a car behind the car involved in the action here as a person decides to try and get a refund for food that they've recently just gotten and the uh, server is trying to get the food back off of them and they said they'll give the refund back after they give the food back over and well, uh, here's what happens next. Look, ma'am, Karen, can I call you Karen? Is that okay? Actually, I don't care what you think because at the end of the day, you're just a Karen. But, uh, you know, there's one very th interesting thing in the world. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't still get the food and then also get a refund for the food when you're still there at the drive-thru. Now, a thing that can occur is if you go home with your food and then find out that something's wrong with it and you call up and let them know about that, then you might get yourself a coupon or a voucher to get the same item the next time you go there for a cheaper price or even free. But that's still not a refund. They're just giving you a coupon to buy the food again for free or for cheaper. But you can't just have your food and then also get your money back for said food. That ain't how that works. She's telling you that. That ain't how that works. And she'll give you your refund back once you hand over the food. And now, I don't know if it was the brightest idea of the service member to try and rip the bag out of her hands. Because that has now caused it to go everywhere. But at the same time, I'm not going to judge her for it. Because clearly, the Karen here was being a complete and utter asshole attempting to get their refund whilst all also keeping their food and failed miserably at doing that. Here we have is what is honestly a really scary and freaky situation to get oneself into, but what happened prior to this is this woman's walking around the store and this person just starts following her. When she leaves the store, this person continues to follow her, and then when she walks up to her car, she goes to unlock it and the guy immediately tries to get into the passenger door. And so she decides to start recording, and here's what happens next. They gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family right. member. That's right. Following me. That's right. <laughs> yep. Bye. That's right. Uh-uh, you're not getting in my car. Hey, look, 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 look. 
You tripping. You tripping. Don't, no, don't, no. You not getting in my car. I unlock my door, but you rush to my passenger. You not getting in my car. Sorry. Yep, you are on camera. Hey, look. She can't trust the most trustworthy. I already to told nobody, you bro. I'm not single, so I don't know why nobody. you following me. I'm, I'm a look. I even help bitches that's drunk. I don't even rob drunk bitches. I don't care. So you can follow me around my car. Me. I'm trying to get in. He ran straight to the passenger side. Can you get away from my door so I can get in my car though? I don't even know you. Hey, delete that camera. I'll grab that phone from you and break it. And then you know what? All these witnesses out you here. Don't fuck about them niggas. Look, delete that on camera, please. Well, can you get away from my car? Yeah, but delete that recording. I'll first. delete it as soon as I see you start walking that way. Because for my safety, you just followed me around this store. And then you following me to my car. So, actually, I'm going to go back to the store because you are out of line yeah, right now. Let's walk back to the store. You can delete, and you're not going to... You can delete the camera. First of all, delete that shit. you're going to get away from me. Yeah. Get away from me. I'm waiting for you to delete that shit. You're not about to make no money off of me, cuz. Ain't nobody making no money. First of all, do it look like I need to make some money off you? Yes. No, I don't. Yes. Look like you need to make some money off of me. No, it's not. That's why you. Man, hold on. Delete that shit. Hurry up, cuz. Can y'all call 911? Can y'all call 911? This guy just followed me around the store and he just. Mm -mm. And he tried to follow me to my car and get in my car. I ain't gonna lie, this uh, lady did her did really damn well to just keep her composure about this entire situation. Because genuinely speaking, whilst I've never experienced something like this myself, I understand how scary a situation like this can be. Basically, like, you have this guy who just starts following you around for some weird reason, trying to talk to you, trying to do this, trying to do that. When you leave the store and go to your car, he continues to follow you, and then the moment you unlock your car, he immediately tries to get, he speeds around to the passenger door and tries to get into your car. That's just like, that ain't a good sign at all. It's clear that this guy wants something, and he's gonna do whatever he can to get that something. And it seems like this guy's, I don't know what this guy deal is, whether he's actually genuinely wants to do something horrible or he's just too busy thinking with his second head and not his first one when it comes to the situation. Because at some point, it seems to click for him that, oh crap, this recording that she's now doing has caught me being, well, an effective creep who attempted to get into someone else's car that I don't know, who clearly doesn't want me around and so on and so forth. It's just gross horrible i hope i hope this clip was used to at least punish that guy in some way like because that the thing ain't right ain't right at all in this clip we've got a cranky old karen that's upset that the youngins are interacting with nature wrecking it there's literally oh so many berries everywhere oh my god we're not wrecking it oh there's so many berries out here there's so many berries <laughs> i cannot <laughs> we're twits. You're the one coming up to two young girls, getting young mad girls. at them for yeah, picking you're like <laughs> six years old. Six years old. Because we wanted to eat some berries. I'm saying, eat all the berries you want. Just don't take the bush with you. I'm it's sorry, not the bush. It's literally a, it's a tiny personally. branch of berries. Why don't you mind your own business? Why this don't you mind your own sanity. business? You know that is the f rudest thing you've said to me. You decided go to go back up where to you us. came from if you wanted to use oh, language like that. Oh, why didn't you go back to where you came from? You fuck colonizer. <laughs> Are you First Nations? No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. You don't call me a colonizer. You're a colonizer. You're Whoa. European. Where did you come from? Yeah, where did you come from? Where did you come from? I'm actually curious. Where the did US. You... US? Oh, yeah. So oh, you're not, so even you're from not here. Canadian either. Yeah, I am. Mm. Oh, so, but we are Canadian too. I was born here. I was born here too. Okay. Were you born here? Did telling her to mind her own business like kind of flick a switch in her head? Because she immediately went from just being a somewhat peaceful, funny person to just immediately going down the racist route of got saying, go back to where you came from, are you going to say that? It's just like, it's t telling someone to mind your own business isn't the rudest thing. It could be considered rude, but it's not the end of the world type of thing. It isn't something that you should go full on racist over. Holy shit. <laughs> Prior to this clip, this Karen was attempting to buy some photos, and apparently when things weren't going their way, they decided to throw something at the retail worker, so the retail worker decided to refuse to actually give to allow her to buy the photos. That is assault. It says 12.31 and it's on- and you can stop videotaping me. 
What's your problem? What's your problem? I had a coupon that I got out of the machine today and he won't let me use is it. it is this worth a coupon? Pictures. Is I'll... it worth you videotaping me? How much are the pictures? I could solve all this. I can this. buy the pictures myself. I he can buy. sell me the pictures. This is just embarrassing. I've never yeah, seen it. It's a... embarrassing that you have to. And I want my camera back. Okay. Well, I guess the cops are going to have to give I it to you. I will stay and talk to the cops. I would like my camera back. Ever since what's her name left here, this place went to shit. I would like my camera back. I don't have a camera. Well, the camera was here, and now it's not. There is no camera. All that was here was this that you threw. The camera didn't this. just disappear. And the stuff. With the, the pictures two. in it. No, there were two items. There, were, there, there two. was a camera. The camera is no longer here. Is that it right there by the photo machine? Oh, look, look, who's <laughs> look who's wrong. Excuse me? I said, look who's wrong. What is your problem? I was you just in the back. You are videotaping I'm protecting me. this gentleman. Oh, the really? Cop? Absolutely. You're protecting the gentleman who refuses to sell me what I wanted to buy. You threw stuff at me. So and you know. took the stuff away and said I couldn't buy it. Bye. I need for somebody to call the police and I'll talk to them. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. You have a good day too. I will. So I'm going to assume that this person who's recording started recording after she witnessed the Karen just being a complete nuisance, maybe throw something or something on those lines, and then just starts recording beyond that. The Karen's not too happy to find out that she's currently being recorded for her actions, and then so goes on to accuse someone of doing something that didn't actually happen because it turns out that she left the camera elsewhere. I wonder if she would have done the exact same thing even if she got the photos that she was chasing. I, I was initially going to go off the fact that maybe this guy shouldn't have lost his composure at work. But at the same time, it sounds like the Karen was just being a complete nut and nuisance and tried to throw some shit at him. So maybe it's a bit justified. Either way, Karen, go home. D just shut the fuck up. <laughs> in this next clip, we got a Karen who's been a plain nuisance to a guy trying to do his job in his van. And I've told you, I'll be finishing my notes and I'll be moving. Yeah. Adam, I'm asking you to move out of the way so I can leave and you're obstructing me from leaving. No, you don't. I don't have to do what you're saying. You're being rude. You didn't ask me nicely once. You yes, didn't ask did. me nicely you once. You're obstructing me from doing my job. Look at you. Look how difficult you're trying to be. Look how petty. You are like, this is what you, you are like. And I'm moving! No! Get out of the way! Because no, that's what I asked you, wasn't it? You know what? It I'll park it? up here then and I'll do my job then. And no, then I'll go. I'll park up here, I'll do my job, then I'll go. Do you know what? That's all I asked you to do in the first place. Do you know what? No, you're not, because you stood there, back. you stood there and you're smashing on my van, madam. You Criminal damage. You want to talk about attempted what? murder and you're smashing my van? I've got you on video. I haven't hit you! How have I hit you? Where have I hit you? Oh, and I've got a camera, so shut up. up. Attempted murder, shut up. Now I'm curious, what about his current parking position is uh, wrong? I, I, I can't really tell too much. It looks like he's parked inside of a driveway, which I'm assuming is outside of the house that he potentially just did a job there. It looks like he's from a telecommunications company or something along those lines based upon the company that we see on the van and the Karen just goes on this whole thing it's like oh my god you tried to murder me because you hit me with the side mirror of your car whilst I was trying to get in the way of the car when you're trying to move away it's like what else do you think was gonna happen you're trying to get in the way of a car that started moving you of course your dumb fucks gonna get hit a little bit you're lucky that he's good enough to just not go not actually run you the fuck over with your stupidity holy shit Welcome to the plane where we have a crazy Kevin on board who is either high as hell or just has a very inflated ego and believes everything revolves around him. Most likely the first one in this situation. And here is my family and this is why I'm the magic man. And I'm being signaled by my wife and she is not the person I married. 
I am the magic man. Let me do what I want to do. I'm gonna. My panic attack's getting easier. It's getting easier. This is the fastest way to do it. Hey, do all the steps. Someone take care of me. The whole plane needs to take care of me. But everyone. Yeah, either that guy's clinically insane or he's just high as hell right now and somehow got on this flight. <laughs> what? Is next up, we've got a pair who doesn't like the fact that this new person at the right behind the registers isn't going fast enough for them, so they decide to attempt to quote unquote help him and cause a scene. Listen, you, not, you don't know what's going on. I try to help him, not complain. I'm not complaining with him. I just try to help him and this line going faster. And you put your mouth in some shit that you don't know what you have to do. You know what? You know what? Don't do it. Don't do it. Just do your job. Do you know? Do you no. You know what is to the customer. Oh People say behind you, they understand what they say. And you know. Everyone has to wait. You have to apologize to the lady. No, I don't. No? 185 even. Man, it's almost like new people aren't going to be particularly fast at their job and you just gotta expect them to be like that and you've just gotta be, I don't know, a touch bit patience with them and just help them along, not try and rush them through everything because, you know, the more you rush someone, the more likely they're gonna make mistakes. Maybe you're not smart enough to understand that, Karen. Is next up we got an employee who must have just been having a very bad day or maybe this is a common occurrence, but he decides to just start treating customers like crap. Nothing wrong. Rude with me. Yeah, that's how you talk to veterans. They talk to me like that. My father was just you defending got, his yeah. wife. You got rude with me. We asked you something. You could have said you weren't an employee. I tried to help you out. No, you did not. You told oh, it's over you here. Know. We're out. Oh, and I'm not even an employee. Guess what? I don't have to sit here. No, you don't. But you don't have to be rude to customers. I wasn't being rude. I was trying yes, to help you. Yes, you were. You did, you could have told me you didn't know where they were. I was trying to help you out. That's where no, you weren't. No, they didn't know what it is. It's, it's on the opposite side. No, it ain't. Come on. Disrespectful. Thank you. Thank you. you are. <laughs> that customer is absolutely right. You don't have to treat people the way you're treating them. And he's running now. Facebook. Look, look, now he's still running his mouth. The ge I asked the gentleman where something was. He told me the totally wrong aisle. So I came back and I asked- So what sounds like has happened here is that this person's directed down them, them down to a certain aisle for a certain item. Turns out the item's not down that aisle, so when they went back to let them know, the worker was a bit rude about it and caused this massive kerfuffle. That's what I'm gathering here. Either way, it's one of those things where I don't get how, I don't care how bad of a day you're having, you still should try and maintain a certain level of professionalism. If you're unable to maintain that type of thing while you're working, then it's probably not a great idea to be working that day, or just try and avoid being on the floor where you're going to have to deal with customs, like, or something on those lines, like, I, I, I get it, you're having a bad day, but taking down the customs is just a bad idea and will probably lose you your job. It, it is what it is, man. This current approach the drive through of a family-ran business. Get makes this entire order, gets it all made up, and right as they're about to get it, they decide to cancel the order. So obviously, the people who are running this family-ran business aren't exactly too happy with that, considering that she's trying to claim that, oh, I only wanted this and this, but you give me all of these things. I don't want my order now, and then just calls this massive hassle for a period of time for no reason. Excuse me, sir. Did you know what my side was? My status story was for you. Why are you guys? Why are you guys so nasty over here? Why he said, please don't come back over here. You're wasting food. Nobody touched it out here. So you're gonna eat it? Is this home business? Is this a home? A family business, so you're gonna throw that away. No, you're not. 
You know, you, it never touched outside, so why would you throw it away? What I'm, what I'm trying to understand, why are you so upset with me? Go on, move on. We got people that want to buy These are people that are mean. They're mean just because I want it. All I want it. All I wanted was, all I wanted was, I wanted actually was to get an ice cream cone for my children to actually taste, and they don't even allow me to get an ice cream cone. I'm just trying to help out. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All I wanted was an ice cream cone. No. No. Jesus Christ, you're not the only person in the world. So go up front. I'm trying to handle a situation. Ma'am. Bye. I've been you for five minutes. Move on. So you're going to explain to me what happened? I explained to you. You ordered food. I tried to explain to you the best way to order it the next time you came through. You then changed your mind, said you didn't want any food. We now have to throw that food away because nobody here is going to eat it. I can't serve this family out. business, so, yeah, so of course somebody's business. gonna eat it, miss. No, ma'am. You're just gonna, gonna throw the weed. It. You don't like to throw food. Get the f out of here. <laughs> Go. That's funny. As she got bad as over an ice cream cone. I mean, yeah, in theory they could just have it themselves, but at the same time, that's still technically wasted food because it's food that was supposed to be used for an order for customers. Now it's just been created and the customer decided to can it. They can't give that to another customer. That's just not exact. That's not how you do things. Like, I, I, this person's brain is just lacking in the department of actual thoughts because, like... I'm sorry, I'm just having difficulty processing the sheer stupidity and the sheer ignorance that this person has just to be like, well, I'm not causing the problems here, you can just have it. I don't see the issue here. Like, in this next clip, we got a Karen who has no idea how to handle their own emotions when in any form of conversation about any potential issues. Be quiet, be quiet. Are you 35? Look at look at Have you paid for this flight? Did you pay for it? It is not booked until June. First, okay, sir. Karen. So there is no right for you to be here. Okay, Karen. I am not Karen. Oh, there is no, no okay. right for you to be here. Okay. Okay. Disrespectful. Go to your own squad. Okay. Who is this person? Okay. Get out of your own squad. Okay. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Who are you both in your own squad? You wanna? Okay. We got you. What else do you want? We're being yeah. really nice to you. Oh, you know, they know we're. Being really nice, you screamed at my daughter. I screamed at her. <laughs> I be, be, be quiet. Yeah, yeah. So who is screaming? Yeah. <laughs> really? Get the f away from us! You are not respecting our boundaries. We got six feet here. You're not six feet from our boat. Get away! Okay. On Mother's Day. Oh yeah. Rob, a boat oh. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, really? Your dog? Why are you like that? Because we're being so nice to you. This is not your mortgage. You paid to board your boat here. There would be no issue, sir. Yeah. Go to your own mortgage. What number? This is thirty-five. Really? Yes. So what's the problem, thirty-five? So what if I have 35? Don't hit me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Don't touch me. So, what is the problem now? You need to leave. Be, be quiet. Both of you. Be quiet. Just be quiet. She, she, she. Can you tell me what your name is and which what your name is? No, I, I wouldn't tell Who are you? My name is Richard M. Trump. What is your name? I don't give a about what my name is. I don't have to give my name. Rick, Rick. I don't have to give my name. Oh, oh. Look. Oh. Oh. You, you. Okay. All right. So, so now I'm going to call the police on you. So now I'm going to have to... You? Both of my daughters. Both of my girls. No, I'm going to...
I think there's two logical conclusions here. Either A, the daughter is a complete psychopath, or B, most likely B, she probably has some form of special needs. But I wouldn't be too surprised in that case, considering how off the handle she went and her own parents can't even control her. Which, yeah, okay, that is some wild shot. That entire thing is just, whoa. <laughs> and I cannot believe just, like, when you're being recorded, you're one of your instincts is to try and go up to that person and potentially cause some violence even the father was going to do that he starts going you know what stomps out of the boat gets stopped by her daughter then his daughter pushes them instead which is just like the many layers of uh so what <laughs> some people just completely amaze me with their stupidity in this clip we got a mother who is trying to stop the father from even hugging or having any interactions with her kids to the point where she's just going to call the cops on him not even do anything else really Nova, come here. You do not touch them. Nova, come here, baby. You do not have rights to them. Do not touch them. Come here, Nova. Them. Nova. Nova. Come here, baby. I will call the fucking cops. Nova. Nova, come here, baby. Come on. Come on. Britt, I gotta call the cops. I gotta call the cops. Bye. They, this is this is the type of mom she is. Come here, baby. No. Why can I not touch my child? I don't bro? trust you. Why would I trust you with my kids? Look at how you're acting versus look at how I'm acting. You're acting irrational. As Come here. Can I get not? I can't give my daughter a hug. You're not touching her. She's calling the cops now. Come here, Luna. Can I have a hug? Uh, Five hundred Selena Road. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I love you. I'm trying to give my kids a hug. I'm literally trying to give my I'm kids a hug. I'm trying to keep him away from the freaking kids because I'm trying to get a protection order. And he's freaking sitting here filming me and freaking trying to get the kids from me. And he doesn't even have rights to two of the kids. I have everything on recording, bro. No, I, hey, my name is on the lease. He moved, my okay, name is on the lease. On the lease, but he moved out. Chase Whitaker. You got my, you got my paperwork, right? Yeah, it's on the phone. Oh. Hi, baby. Hi, princess. 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 Oh, she doesn't want to be a bad mommy when she's being recorded. Yeah. yeah. Is that my princess? It's okay. Look, mommy can try to keep you from me all she wants. I promise you, daddy will be, daddy will be right behind her. I promise you. I promise you, daddy will be right there, okay? I love you. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> what you got? What is that? Is that a penny? Yeah, you're such yeah. a fake. I'm such a fake. Yes. I have been acting like this since I got here, bro. I think it says a lot how quick the kids are to gravitate around the father rather than the mother and how much nicer they seem to be with him than they were with the mother just moments beforehand. I also love just hearing how she's on the phone trying to make up this story against the police and to make it so the police come out here and get rid of the guy or do something. And she's going, um, uh, um, uh, just over and over again. It's like it's clearly she's trying to make up something horrible in order to get the police out here to do something. But come on. Be realistic. This is only going to get used against you when inevitably, because how all these things type of go, it's going to go to court at some point to fight for custody. It's never fun, but that's just a factor of life. In the next clip, we got a Karen trying to call up the local Walmart to get their managers to talk to their managers. Turns out the managers are in a meeting, but she's too impatient. She can't wait like the 30 minutes to an hour to wait for the managers to be done with their meeting, so instead she keeps annoying the customer service worker. Y'all, this lady keep calling. Customer service. Okay, I don't know who you think you are that you think you can hang up in my face, but you're not gonna do it again. Okay. Get me a manager on this. <laughs> yeah, she called to talk to a manager, right? All the managers are in a meeting, so I let her know that. She said, no, you're not gonna hang up on me. So I hung up the first time. Then she just called back again. And said what she said, girl, you're, you don't have any power here. 
said you're not gonna hang bye <laughs> here she go again customer service i will have you all fired if you don't get me a manager the managers are in a meeting ma'am okay well ma'am you know what i am not stupid you have some <laughs> Customer service. You know what? I'm gonna keep calling till you get a manager on the phone. They're in a meeting, ma'am. I don't care. It doesn't. <laughs> Customer service. Ma'am, I'm gonna keep calling every department till you get somebody. You're gonna keep getting me, ma'am. The managers are in a meeting right now. Well, I am glad that you're the only one that I'm gonna get because now they'll know who's been such a. Oh, you want a tussle? <laughs> I am going to report you. You've been rude and disrespectful. I told you the managers are in a meeting, ma'am. I can't and feel your you request. Hung up in my face. You didn't even try. Bye. Need to speak to a manager. They're still in a meeting, ma'am. Then transfer me to electronic. Okay, one second. So disrespectful. She hung up on me seven times. She laughed in my face. And I was so mad with her that I called her a That's how disrespectful she was to me. Friend, she crazy. She kept calling and harassing me over the phone. She kept calling me. So before I started recording, she called, I'm like, customer service, whatever, whatever. How can I help you? Can I speak to a manager? Oh, all the managers are in a meeting right now. Well, you need to get somebody, you ghetto girl. What? So then I started recording. I don't got that much time to explain, so if y'all want a story time, comment down below. So after the ghetto girl, it sent me. You're done. You're done. I woke up, put lashes on, walked out the house just to get here and see that my lash was lifted and I didn't have no glue. So I was already irritated that I had to take them off. So I had time. I can't make this up, y'all. I told y'all, they crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I'd totally do the same thing. <laughs> it's just way too funny. It's just like, you told them the first time that, hey, the managers are meeting, you're gonna have to wait, there's nothing I can do about it. And if they keep insisting on they need help from a manager, it's just like at that point, they're a lost cause. What's the point caring when they clearly don't give an absolute huck about anyone else's time? They just want to get served for some dumb, stupid reason. It's probably nonsense. They probably just want to get talked to a manager just because but I don't know it's just one of those stupid things I would do the same thing ain't gonna lie <laughs> And next clip we got a mother who is very upset at a Karen old worker at Walmart because she assumed that her six year old son was trying to steal something because he picked it up she followed my child and tell me told me she's she's not allowed to pick it up what'd you say my child picked up a pair of sunglasses and yeah. she followed him. So basically, as he was walking, she followed him. She left her post to follow him because she picked up he picked up some glasses. Mm -hmm. He's not allowed to pick that up. Well, if he was gonna buy them, he's allowed to pick them up. Right. It, did he grab the glasses? I mean, yeah, he there? grabbed them, okay. but she said he's not allowed to grab them, and I'm trying to figure out why she can't. He can't grab them. Did you think that he was gonna pay? steal them? I thought he was. You thought uh, what? You thought yeah, what? Never mind. You no. Say just it again. Go. Say it again. You thought you what? what? He I'm was gonna, gonna steal them. You. you just told your employee you thought he was gonna steal them. A six-year-old child. You thought he was gonna steal them. Did he not? Did she not just say that? Please. Did she just say that? She did. Say she that, did just say that. That my six-year-old child was gonna steal them. You literally just said that. No, it's no sorry. He's six years old, so you really thought my child was gonna steal a pair of glasses? He is six years old. You literally followed my child. You literally just followed my child because you thought he was gonna steal some glasses. Why, is it because he's black? Is it because he's black? You know. But you literally just told your co-worker you followed him because you thought he was going to steal some damn glasses? 
Man, I feel bad for the other Walmart workers that were there just listening to the story. They were like the face on the other lady. She's just like, oh god, she's done it again. She's caused some drama because she has no idea how to handle things. Ugh. And now we have to deal with this. And I just love how the entire time the old lady's like, first off, you know, don't worry about it, and then just doesn't apologize at all. Like I, I feel like the situation could have been over smooth. It's like I'm sorry. I'm I'm just doing my job. Got to make sure that people don't steal things. I'm sorry if you took offense to that is what it is instead she just sits there ignores them in this entire conversation and then walks away i can guarantee you the employees weren't uh, too happy and probably talk to her after this event i'm just like well, what the hell were you doing there like what <laughs> god in this next clip we had a karen complaining about a bb gun Yes, they're shooting a weapon. A BB gun. A it's a BB gun. It's a BB gun. I don't know. It's a, it looks like a pistol. It's a BB yes. gun. You would have heard they're it. At, at you would have heard it if it was a pistol. Yes, it looks like a pistol. Yeah, I actually own a gun. I'm a military wife. Well, that's not, like, so. that's not what a gun sounds like. So what a gun sounds like, girl. I'm trying not to escalate. Oh, so <laughs> aggressive, are you wow. kidding? glowing in the sun glistening look at her hey, we'll go this bitch came out here and started screaming at us i live here bruh yeah we live here <laughs> you're tripping you can follow me home and lick my butthole whoa like for part two you know, this one's actually a bit complicated because there's no clear rulings on how to deal with BB guns. I was originally just going to go the whole route of orange-tipped fake weapons, but BB guns aren't classified as toys. But at the same time, they're also not a firearm because they don't have explosive rounds. But they can actually harm people if they hit certain locations. It, it's it's a very bit of a complicated mess with that one. I can understand why the Karen may be a little unhappy with this, especially seeing someone walk around with a pistol. Um, if you heard them shooting it because you claimed that they were shooting it in the woods, you would understand that it's not an actual pistol, it's a BB gun. Uh, I... I... Uh, it's not an easy one to answer. I'm just gonna move on really one of you guys in the comments will probably have something to say about this one And that's fair. <laughs> I would like to see what you guys have on this one in this next clip We got a Karen who uh, needs to return some clothes, but missed out on the actual policy
And we're, we're, how would I know this? Do you, do, like, how, like, I'm sure everybody knows the amount that I'm like, screw about it. How does anybody know it? Is it on your printed receipt? Uh, yes, it's not on your phone. phone. Let's get you a phone. And this is terrible customer service. Okay. Um, notes. Right there in the language, we just said some kind of handle over there. It's not on your receipt. All right, I need to know the other manager's name. This is the contact number. You can reach out to her. Well, she's not going to answer, I'm sure. I'm one of the kids that she's going to randomly, if this is her office number, is it here? So there were no notes, my so how love. Okay. Oh, right. Let's so get you out of this environment. <laughs> I'm going to skip her so she can just keep doing what she's doing. It's not right. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to Oh, oh yeah. I I I I I I I I I and I put it in and then it hung up on them. Yes, don't use that. And it's going to go back to the email as well. Thank you very much, my love. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is it just me or did it feel like that, that clip repeated itself? Now, is it just me or did it feel like that clip just repeated? Wait a minute. <laughs> That's just like I did just this entire thing. The how she kept going. I was like, oh, but the policy's not on the receipt. Oh, the policy's not over there. Oh no, the policy's not on the receipt. Oh, they're not pol. It's just like, bro, ma'am. I get it. I feel like that maybe there should be a short home variation of the policy on the receipt so it's there. But at the same time, it's probably one flipping Google search away. They probably have posters somewhere around the store. It may not be big because I know they like to do that. There is a small A4 piece of paper that's got this massive dialogue of the policy on it. Because I know that the store, retail stores and grocery stores here in Australia do the exact same thing with the policies. <laughs> They're on small pieces of paper right at the bottom of the service desk so you don't really see it. But it's there so they can't be legally hold for anything. But it's just like go going around these loops over and over and over again. It's just ultimately gotten you nowhere. And then when you go to, then you get told, okay. Go call the regional manager. They don't pick up. She loses her shit. She throws the phone and then falls right back into her routine to loop about the receipt not having the policy on it again. Like, in most cases, uh, usually the window's about 30 days for most things. Walmart seems to be 45 days in this instance here, but usually it's 30 days. If you don't return your stuff within the first month, then you're probably not going to be able to get a refund for it. It just is what it is, unless it's something electronic wise where it's got like a year warranty or two year warranty and the electronic dies and then you can get a replacement but that's a different scenario than fucking clothes first up we've got an interesting situation here so there is a lot to do with this one i'm just going to give you a brief rundown of the uh, what the story behind this then you watch all the clips and i'll get back to you in about 10 ish minutes because there's a lot behind this but basically this old man spotted a car that was parked in a handicap spot he decided to look around the car to see if he could find the handicap tag unfortunately he personally couldn't spot the handy tag handicap tag so he decided it'd be the brightest idea to grab out a knife and scratch up the side of the car. This was caught in the dash cam and the owner of the car confronted the guy inside of the Walmart. Here's now everything to do with that. That man right there just marked the car. Oh! 
I don't know who that is, but he, he just pulled out a knife. And he, he, wa he walked around the car. He was checking, he was looking in the windows. I don't, I don't know. I don't hey, sir, you scratched my car up. What? You scratched my car outside. Mm -hmm. We wanted to park in a handicapped spot with no yeah. tag? No, I do have a tag. No yes, tag. I do have a no tag. tag. Yes, there is a tag. Yes, there is a tag. Yes, there is a tag on my car. Mm -hmm. I looked. No, you looked and you scratched my car. I got my kids in the car too. I have. I just had back surgery, just so you know. And my daughter got you on video. Okay, that's fine. Have a nice day. You have a nice day. There is a tag on my car, and I'm, I'm reporting it to the authorities too. That's fine. You're going to call and, 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 and tell them that you parked in, a, in an No, and I do have, no let's walk out there together so you can see it. So I can embarrass you. Tell them to come to Walmart and tell them that somebody just damaged my vehicle. Ma'am, ma'am, is the police around? No. There isn't, okay. Go ahead and call 911. I don't know what gives you the right to damage my vehicle. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna call them now. All right, bye. Hey, I'm inside Walmart at Buford, um, Buford Mill, and there's a um, guy that pulled out a pocket knife and scratched my car. My kids are in the car with me, and my daughter called me to let me know what happened. She showed me the video of the guy walking away. I'm right here in Walmart now, and I got him on video, and I need someone here immediately. It literally just happened probably three minutes ago, and I'm still in, in Walmart. He's standing inside, in, in front of the pharmacy line now. My, I'm still parked in the parking in the parking lot. Can, I, the pocket knife it, it's in his it's in his pocket. I'm assuming it's in his pocket. He's he's why he has on the. I'm nervous. I have my okay. daughters in the I car, you know, right. and my daughter, my daughter's 16, she'll be 17 in November, and my two-year-old should be three in October. Okay, okay, well, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay.
leave the other party at some ball? Yeah. Okay. I am. Was there a reason why you parked with a handicap? Because I because I had back surgery and I have have a handicap to care. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have handicap. Okay. You can go and check. Right. And I've had one for probably the past year and a half now. Yeah. Okay. So just to give them her exactly what happened today. Yes. Yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me what's going so, on. Um, parking handicap, uh, handicap spot. Exactly what happened today. Yes. Yeah, yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me what's going so, on. Um, parking handicap, uh, handicap spot. Okay. My daughter's in the car. Okay. Um, so I'm running in there to get some stuff for the dog to so come on back out. Okay. Well, I'm in the dog out. My daughter calls me and she's frantic. Mom, you know, um, somebody just was, you know, was trying to look through the window. She said that he went through every window, peeping in, even on my two-year-old's daughter's side. And he came around to the side, took out a pocket knife, and scratched the car. Okay. She explained, she tried to, you know, tell me how he looked or whatever. She said she got a video of him walking away. So I said, send me the video so I can see how he looks. Okay. That's when she sent me the video. I looked around, boom, I saw him. And that's when I confronted him. Hey, did you just scratch my car? Why did you scratch my car? You know, and I have it on video, you know. He's saying, well, you parking in the handicapped. You have scratching or you have no. a video of you talking to him? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, so um, you know, he was like, well, you shouldn't be parking in a handicapped parking spot. They you go. didn't have a decap. I do like, have yeah. a decap. I looked in, I looked everywhere. I didn't see one. It's not your your response. Yeah, exactly. I said, just like I called the police, if, if I was unlawfully parked, you could have called the police as well. You had no right to damage my car. Right. You know, and I had my daughters in, in a car, you know. Um, so, so that's basically the gist of it, you know, and I just, you know, called him to the pharmacy on, on video. He's waving, you know. He was trying to leave and that's yeah, he walked and walked and walked so that I couldn't find out where he parked at, you know. Um, and when I, he noticed the police coming, that's when he, you know, just, I guess, started okay, trying to figure out or whatever. And then after we got some distance, that's when he finally got to his car and tried to pull off. Are your, are your girls okay? Yeah, I know my, I, my sister, I know she, she's a little shaken. Yeah. Okay. Um, Why do you check the car? Are you a law enforcement officer? Are you certified in the state to enforce this parking lot? So why do you take it upon yourself to check other people's property? So if they are not following the rules, how do you enforce the rules? Okay, perfect. So what bypass all that? You know, by the sounds of the discussion with the police officer in the final, in part five of the clip, it sounds like she's done this before, and he does this very regularly, that he checks around the cars that are parked in the handicap zone and then takes it into his own hands if they don't have said sticker, which... Great idea to admit that to the police that your sense of justice is like, oh, someone's doing, someone's parked in an illegal spot. Let me just grab out my knife and let's mark their car, not uh, take a photo of it and send it to the police or t call the police if you really think it's that wrong. Like, there's many other ways you can handle a situation like this, and it's just outright crazy to think that the best move to deal with someone who's potentially illegally parking in a handicap zone is to knife up their car genuinely very 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 stupid and there was a part three in these clips but there, not much happened it was just the person following the guy whilst also on the call to 911 not much really missed out there i just wanted to keep as much clips as necessary without making it be like a whole half of the video because it was going to be like 15 ish minutes worth of clips in total if i used everything so i only used what was necessary it's just really wild that this is how some people think to do this and of course when the police officers asked about the whole sticker thing he just like oh yeah it's because she uh went back to the car and put the sticker on that's how she knows i scratched the car yet to her story as well as what we can tell from some of the other footage that we have here is that she never returned to her car to put the sticker back up she got a call from her daughter who was in the car letting her know that x y and z just scratched up the car for some reason or another so, good on your old man. Not only did you completely miss a handicap sticker, you've also got yourself in a bit of shit with the police. Good, good job, buddy. Well deserved. In this next clip, we got a character who does not want to be held responsible after backing into someone else's car. Oh my god, I said I'm sorry. It's one of my dead hands. The whole front end of your car is tore out. 
Okay, but you, you can still only, hit you it. You can barely see it. No, I mean, hit that's it. not the point. Uh, yeah, that is the point. No, that's it's not. Some people want to be greedy and they see it. I'm not being point. greedy. I mean, you hit my car. There's a crack in it. Like I'm just doing the thing that I'm supposed to do. Uh, an incident report. I didn't report. put no crack in it because there's not no pink, ain't no red stuff on my truck. Okay. No red paint. So. Okay, we'll just talk. You'll have to, the... to prove that I done it because I mean. That I done that. I'm sure they have cameras. There's one right there it pointed at I'm it. I'm not talking about hitting you. I'm talking about the, uh, proving that I put the dent in there. Okay. That dent could already be in there. I have a pictures of my car. Like, don't I know that was not. Of it, don't you? Yeah, I do, actually. Mm -hmm. She just wants to be snobby. I'm not being snobby. Like, you it's hit not. my car. So? If, it's if, my someone, if someone backed into my car and or backed into someone else's yard in my van or whatever, and made the old place, I'd be like, that's fine. It's not a okay. million dollar car. You don't have to. Make a bigger port on it, make people's insurance go up a bunch of bullshit. Okay, I'm but what saying. makes you think that I can pay for it to get it fixed? If you don't need to fix it, go on freaking little Danny. What you, you call it? That, that's something I'm asking. I, I mean, I don't want it there. I don't like that there's a dent in my car. Oh, uh, wow, well, like it's a million dollar car. What? Out here at the, on the bypass. I mean, it's as simple as this. If there's actual visible damage on your car that's not just a simple scratch and an actual dent into a panel, then yeah, I understand why you want to pursue it. Because uh, in newer cars, panels cost a lot of money because, you know, a lot of them have sensors in there nowadays. They aren't just simple metal frames on a car. No, there's sensors hidden underneath these panels. And if you get a dent where a sensor tends to be, that is kind of expensive to deal with. And let's just be real here. Most people do have an intended idea to resell their car in the future. Some people have their long-term car already, and that's cool for you. Or some people just don't give a shit about what car they drive, so they don't care about the damage that gets on there they just will move on with their life and not worry too much about it but you're allowed to pursue it if actual damage was done to your car this carriage doesn't like the fact that she's being held responsible that this might be an issue she now actually has to deal with because she backed into someone else's car because she's in a i'm assuming a big fuck off truck considering she's calling it a truck and she was too dumb to pay attention to the road to realize that oh wait i'm about to hit someone whoopsies Next, we have a carrier who can get precisely what she ordered, so she decides to uh, go overboard and throw everything from this fast food restaurant everywhere. What the f***, bruh? Yes, self-entitled Karen. Yes, you can let out your baby rage here. It won't do you any good, especially considering there's a camera behind you recording your every move and will probably be sent to the police at some point in the very near future and you're probably going to have some problems after that. But hey, that's not my problem to deal with anymore. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get people like this. It's just like, I'm not getting what I want. I'm going to barge my way in. I'm going to grab this crap, make a mess, and walk away. Why? Prior to this, the person behind the camera, who I would call the Karen in this case, as well as the uh, worker here, which is also a bit of a troublemaker here, they were both in a bit of a fight and argument in some form. At some point, it got a little bit physical with the person behind the camera throwing crap and using the door to attempt to hit the worker. And, well, the Karen eventually decides to start recording right as the worker throws a drink in her face. And, well, here's what happens now. Yeah, because she bugged me. Where's your car? It's over there. Okay, you want this code to your car? No, I want corporate's number. I want her fired. I literally just got a drink poured on me after I told you this shit was going to happen. After I told you this was going to happen. I asked you to go home. I did. She followed me outside. She followed me she outside. She hit me in the door. What? Are you f***ing kidding you me? Are you you are you kidding me? I still have it's are you recording me? You're good. What yeah. the f*** are you Don't doing? Be recording. Are you kidding me? Don't be f***ing recording you. Don't be throwing a drink at she somebody. She bought me with the f***ing right, door. You're a homie. Are you serious? That's outside. Oh, that's so it makes it okay to so do this. So it's okay for her to bump me with the door, right? I'm just going to tell you something. I'm, 
I'm record this. Take this off. No. Right. Listen to me. Well, 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 both parties seem to be very much in the wrong here. It seems like this person just starts to try and pull a victim card the moment the drink was thrown at her, and yes, I do personally think in this situation that that worker just completely lost the plot. They snapped, which I get it. We can't, at a certain point, all everybody has a limit on the amount of shit they can have thrown at them before they snap personally. But as a fast food worker, as a retail worker of any sort, you've got to learn how to make that limit extremely high because the moment you retaliate is the moment that that stuff can be used against you and suddenly you might find yourself out of a job, you might find yourself potentially cold an assault charge, which might happen in this case here, considering she threw the drink at her when she was recording, and then goes to knock the phone right, of her, right out of her hand when she's recording. So that's very unfortunate. And like, it, it's one of those things where it's just a tomfuckery all around. Everything's just a mess. The person behind the camera is a complete and utter asshole to cause this in the first place, and unfortunately the worker did not have the me mental capacity to not snap at them for this entire mess. It's just unfortunate all around. So this subway worker is just finished off serving a customer and decides to go take her break. Another customer walks in and immediately starts going off in a bit of an argument and tension how horrible of a worker she is because she's not serving her right away. Are you on your phone? Aye. I'm actually on my break, I'll just be a minute, sorry. I took a break. No, you didn't. I did. No, you haven't. I literally just finished. Hold on a wee second, actually. The last customer I served was just give me two wee seconds and I'll show you the time of the receipt. Right, no, no, two wee seconds. Just a wee second. Right now it's 29 minutes. I served that customer two minutes ago. I'd be sacked. That's great. All right. I'll let my supervisor, my manager, know. No. Oh, no, I've been oh, that's fine. Do you want the email for a good No, I'll get that email. Oh, that's fine, that. babes. That's fine. Oh, my God. I think I already know what the supervisor would have said to the phone call complaint and then when the story gets filled in later by their worker. It'd just be like, oh, yep, yeah, that'd be them. It's like, unfortunate timing. You took your break and you're the only one at the store today. So at that point in time, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Like, it's just one of those things where, you know... We have to take a break at some point. We can't just work non-stop and stay at the counter. Like, like, what do you think we are? Not human? Like, we can't just sit, stand there at the counter all day, every day. We do take breaks. We do finish a shift. Like, I, I feel like it's a, one of those things where a lot of people don't realize that... Uh, yeah, we do finish work and sometimes you'll watch you'll see us walking around the store with our uniform still on because we just finished work doing some shopping and some people just think it's like one of those things like I'm gonna ask you if you can help me. It's like okay, I'll point you over to this thing and then there's just like other people who say, like, Oh, why are you doing shopping? You're supposed to be working like this the people that just don't understand the thing that, you know, we're all humans. We're humans too. We need breaks, we finish work, we're not always here to slave away for a pay, like Seriously? Here we have an upset Karen who is interrupting a bunch of people who are working on the fibre network who apparently said a freaking at them. Yeah, I, yeah, that's right. Freaking. Here's a clip. So well, but you don't talk to any customer like that. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? Hold on. Talk to who? Talk to me. Ma'am, you were parked in the middle of the road. I said, ma'am, I have nowhere to park. I'm working on the fiber. You told me I have no frickin' way to I get did, this. Did I say that? Frickin'. Did you use frickin'. Did everybody hear that? I okay, why? Ma'am. Why? We recorded it. Where are you? Where are you from? Um, we're from Florida. Where are you from? I want to know what company this is. Where are you from? What cable, what fiber company are you from? Okay. You don't talk to me that way. Did anybody talk to her that way? Oh, you gang. You're just a, you know better. I can see it on your face. Don't Look at, don't talk to me that way. Where are you from? I'm just asking what company. Is this vast? Is it vast? Midco? Blue? Blue Earth, whatever it is. Ma'am, you come over here and you're yelling at everybody and that is so wrong. I am just telling you, your truck I, man, I'm it. in the middle of the road here. I, I put cones up so that you guys can come around. Look I, at, 
you can't see to make a left turn. That's all I'm telling you. You drive up here and try to make a left turn. You're just an asshole. And I'll find out where you're from. My name's TJ. Man, that, oh, that's freaking crazy. I cannot freaking get over this freaking stuff. I can't say, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm too Australian to be able to say frickin' a million times over. It, all I can say is that this is just one of those things that is really stupid. Like, just genuinely like, Oh, you said freaking at me. End of the world. Like, that is the worst thing you can say to a person. Man, they didn't even use a swear word at you. Yeah, they use a replacement for a swear word. Like, it, it's probably could be considered potentially somewhat near as bad as just saying fuck you but it, it's not as harsh because they said freaking like that's that's not even wow <laughs>